Hello there. Come closer out of the dark and sit around my campfire, why not? My name is of no great importance, but the stories I have to tell you are... Witness, four lost souls journeying together through a grim world of perilous adventure. Be warned, though. The stories are not for the faint-hearted, and once you have heard them, you cannot unheard them. Bear witness to the Vagabond Chronicles. <sighs> Holy shit. Oh, yeah. Hello there! And welcome! Uh, hi. Hi. <laughs> hi! Hi! I just need to work out whether or not we're all live, because I do have that horrible habit of doing things, uh, and it doesn't necessarily mean that we're actually talking to anybody apart from ourselves, which is delightful. But hi! People in Switch are saying hi back! So oh, I'm hi! Okay, cool. Hey, okay, this like, constant fear I have of, of getting things wrong. Anyway, um, hello it's there. The fear that's driven you for the last 30 years. <laughs> <laughs> and more. Um, 30, 30. <laughs> uh, we're talking I'm, about not revealing, I'm not revealing age. Are we talking about ages on that? No, no, we're, not, we're not doing ages on this show. Thank you very talking, much. Talking. We have talking said we're middle aged. Yeah. We've said middle aged a lot. I've said that. But we, uh, we're allowed to say that because we, we are. Um, hello, everybody. Oh, welcome, to, <laughs> welcome to. <laughs> Jesus. Welcome to the Vagabond Chronicles. Hashtag Neil plays with his friends. Uh, I guess I'm Neil, and that makes you lot my friends. All of you. Um, or something. Yeah. Hmm. Well, acquaintances. <laughs> how about how about work? How about ro high future. fantasy work colleagues? How about that? I well, wish you yeah. 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 Okay. I'll be speaking to a high fantasy HR after this. I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then he made me cast Fireball. Yeah, be like yeah. <laughs> and then he okay. looked at me inappropriately. <laughs> right. So welcome, uh, welcome to uh, our little roleplay group. Now this group has been going. Well, I guess ten, technically with, with Pete and Steve, it's been going about <laughs> about 30 odd years. But um, really, in the, in the way, the shape that it is now, it's been about six years. And um, we decided to start this group um, to share, really, the, the stuff that we, we've had so much fun with over the years. Uh, we wanted to sort of do a bit more with it. And we want to say a huge thank you to everybody that's been tuning in for the last five episodes and people that also watch the, the show uh, offline as well, like not live. Um, and also to all the people that have been subbing and, and sending bits and things, all the stuff I'm learning, what it all means. Um, go on, Neil, <laughs> middle age, fuck middle age. Um, so yeah, so thank you so much to everybody supporting. Um, we've been yeah. trying to include, we try and include fan art and we are definitely, we've got a, um, an Insta a very unhelpfully long named Instagram. I account. shortened it, you grumpy kids. <laughs> all right, so apparently you shortened. What is, what really is sure. the name? What is the name? Oh, the the original Vagabond Chronicles. But the short the version, dude. Oh, bits.ly forward slash and other stuff I sent you already. That's not helpful, Jim. <laughs> it's like five characters, you <laughs> That's donut. That's not helpful. <laughs> All right, Jim, do me a Jim, 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 do me a favor and put it into chat on your like phone. Or oh, somebody put it into chat on the phone. Again? <laughs> what you, not Lord. our chat, their chat. Short-term so can... memory loss. Anyway, so, <laughs> so... Jeez. So, um, we do have an account, um, if you want to do fan art or, but we saw some amazing stuff like cosplay, which was off the chart, like amazing yeah. stuff. Uh, yes. Yeah. So, so cool. cool. Uh, it was Woe There Veronica playing Veronica class. Um, thank you for letting us steal your name. An awesome, awesome sword, by the way. It was very cool. Uh, her Hidden Heroine has sent us uh, the artwork that's actually on the screen now, which is Ziggy, Ratkin, Teddy and Bondo, our main characters of this story that we like to weave drunkenly perhaps but but assuredly i would say bondo <laughs> likes his fan art very much bondo <laughs> does like his fan art very much we covet bondo's fan art that was that's it's good i'm that's very impressed cover. yeah good stuff yeah so, it's uh, amazing thank you thank you yes, hidden thank heroine, you, hidden heroine. <clears throat> thank you very much and and so yes so without further ado we're going to jump into the game and explain a little about for people that are joining into the chaos hashtag chaos crew of what the fuck we're trying to do um and play we play warhammer in front of you now is the world high world this is only a fraction of the world so the top left hand corner is the entire world which resembles very much our world uh, it's set kind of like renaissance reformation classical 
period of our world, but it's got elves and goblins and dwarves and halflings and hobgoblins, all kinds of dragons and things. Uh, very much like Dungeons and Dragons, in fact, but it's Warhammer fantasy roleplay if you're not familiar with the universe. Uh, so there's steam engines, there's a little bit of like basic industrial revolution, swords and hijinks and rogues and I guess lovers and animal lovers. Oh, no, I'm definitely a lover and not a fighter. You could definitely be a lover and not a fighter in the system. Um, the system yeah. we're not going to explain a huge amount about. It's based on percentiles, uh, not just like D20s and stuff. But to be honest with you, we're still going to like talk about it as we go, as we usually do. And I guess without further ado, uh, we should introduce the players, because I've spoken enough. So when I scoot Stop over to the players. game... Stop players! <laughs> I did this well. I'm not sure if the audio is still going, if I'm the only person with audio right now. So I'm just going to see with my arm. Oh, yeah, by the way, we have our moderator, uh, Yogo11. Thank you to them. Um, hi, Yogo. Hi, 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 Yogo. Hi, Yogo. Thanks, Yogo. Uh, cool. Um, and we can say big thanks to them. Um, and yeah, so here is the game. This is the game table. It's Tabletop Simulator. We're really working hard on that fucking sponsorship insofar as me just hashtagging Tabletop Simulator every five minutes. <laughs> Doesn't seem to be getting their attention, but fucking working on it. So let's see what we can do with that. Um, this is Sad Neil, for those of you that don't know. Uh, I don't know why he's still there, but he's... Because I'm a happy Neil. I've, I've been happy. I had a break. So, and we all had a break. We all feel good. Um, but this is the kind of shitboard. My God, it's a mess. Right, I'm sending you the link now. Do Thank I you. want to put it into the Twitch feed as well? So Dude, our I don't know. loving readers how, can... How badly I've organized. This is terrible. Yeah, anyway, do it. So... Yeah, put it in the Twitch feed. <laughs> right here it goes thanks very much Osh. um so this is the board that we play around much like uh, a board you would do at home tabletop simulator it's really funny you haven't tried it again rooting for that sponsorship um so let's <laughs> hashtag sponsor us <laughs> hashtag <laughs> cash is acceptable um so yeah so yeah this is the, what am i talking about this is the board so very quick recap our four wayward heroes who met each other oh wait a minute it's somebody's birthday what the fuck am i you doing Introduce us. You kind of started it and no, then no, skipped. no. I was going to do the world and then introduce. Oh fuck it! All right, you should, I should do that, shouldn't I? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> that's that's incredibly that's incredibly rude of me, and maybe it's familiarity and contempt and all that. Okay, so I should introduce <laughs> all of you. Contemptuous of you all. I should introduce the players because we weren't going to do that. Then, like a dog with a squirrel, I got really distracted by sad meal. <laughs> <laughs> so let's go to how many minutes we're on today. Eight minutes, we're doing okay. Eight minutes, the intro, not bad. All right, we're so starting good. off with, with our initiative order, because uh, that was the only way that made sense. Uh, we're going to start off with Pete. Hey, Pete. Hey, 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 Good Pete. morning hey. from Australia, the land of Vegemite and koala bears. It's, 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 it's dark and cold and miserable here, and I wish I wasn't. No, yeah, no, no, I do wish I was here. It's, it's awesome here. Is koala bears but... their main export with Vegemite? <laughs> I thought Tim the biggest export. Tim Tams, Tim Tams, man. Tim Everyone Tams, knows. koala bears, and Vegemite. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We, we don't export the koalas. We just burn them. It's horrible. It's Everyone horrible, man. Well. I'm so oh. sorry to hear that. Oh, it's awful. It's awful. It's, it's, yeah. yeah, they taste but, awful when you burn them. <laughs> hey. Roast them lightly. Wrap them in tin Especially... foil and then roast them. Yeah. Just want to just want shoehorn yeah. in there, folks. No lawyer. That was like a, a that was a joke from episode one. We don't actually have a lawyer. I guess moving forward. <laughs> Touch me. Do koalas do koalas so... have lawyers? Koalas don't have lawyers. No. Fuck it. We're, we're safe. Do, it's fine. We're totally fine. Yeah. <laughs> but we all love koalas. Poor koalas. Please carry on. Especially please. roasted. Anyway. Where was that? Where was that? God yeah, damn I, it, I, you I, guys. I I being t <laughs> Teddy the Hawking Rogue. Teddy Wheat Shaft, <laughs> Wheat Spear. Who, Teddy, Teddy Wheat Pasture. Wheat Pasture. Pasture. Yeah. Pasture. Teddy Wheat Pasture. Who, who fell off a roof and gave himself brain damage last week, but didn't through the majesty of fate. We're going to get to that uh, in a second. So. But yes, you are a halfling rogue, I believe. Yes. This, yes. Uh, and you're one for the ladies or lads or something? You're, you're, like, you're, like a, you're a bit schmoozy, a bit charming? Where's, where's this going? I'm what? just asking, is your character like debonair? <laughs> is he like popular? No, 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 he's rough and, and a Londoner and just wants to cut people. Oh yeah, he's... He's... He's a... What, what, when I get geezer. my accent right, he's a bit of a, yeah, he's a, bit of a London geezer. He's a halfling geezer. He's, 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 yeah, that's watch right. out, I'm gonna He's catch. hashtag so fucking London. All right, that's right. So fucking... We've got a lot of hashtags uh, flying around here, folks. This is probably... <laughs> <laughs> and, and yes, it's, uh, it's, it's early, and I've not slept very well. But that's I'm, fine. I'm here, and that's okay. Woo. It's it's a, we can work Literally around your tiredness. It. It's fine. We'll just keep. <laughs> All right, hey, cool. Thank you. Hey, 
Hey, it was your birthday last week, wasn't it? It was your Friday birthday! Friday Yay. Like that. That's right, happy birthday. We're not going to sing. We're DJG 24-7. Wait, <laughs> wait, Pete, I know we can't do this, but we do actually have a cake for you, lads. We've got a cake for you. We do have a cake. I'm going to draw what? it. Here's the cake. Oh. It's a birthday cake, and it says, hang on, I'll just catch up. It says Pete on it. And inside the birthday cake, we've got a special guest. Wow. We've got, he's bursting through the birthday cake like like the alien chest, bunts, chest punch. No. Uh, we've got Jim, he's going to sing us a little. <laughs> happy birthday oh to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Mr. Teddy Chan. Anyway, enough. <laughs> no, it was great. Yay. Oh, oh, so no, just imagine long. Jim bursting through chocolate cake wearing nothing but I, a bikini. I, 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 oh, and that's oh, what we got. Lime green mankini, boys and girls. Mankini. Oh, oh, yeah. happy now. No, leave the cake there. Oh, no, I'm, we'll put the, I'm going to put the cake over here so it doesn't spoil like what I'm trying to do this evening, which is play a game. Three, <laughs> fan art, Jim bursting out of the cake wearing a oh, bikini. God, no, no, no Bondo working out of the... No, Bondo. Yeah, Bondo. Bondo Happy birthday, birthday, birthday to you. Birthday. Happy birthday, Bondo <laughs> says to Happy you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> I feel we're getting a little out of control, so I'm going to move uh, things on a little bit. <laughs> okay, so... See, next up, are your drunk uncles, it's well. official. So next, Rain us in. Right, next I up... I need to be disciplined. Rain me in. <laughs> okay, um, so the safe word is banana. Next next is Dr. <laughs> Stephen. Dr. Steve. Dr. Aubergine. Dr. Aubergine. Dr. Aubergine. Uh, Dr. Steve. Uh, good evening, everybody. Yeah, I am the aforementioned uh, Dr. Steve. Um, and and uh, more importantly, I'm playing Siegfried Halpsman, uh, wonderfully represented in our lovely fan art. Thank you again. Um, I like the way he's the only one who's complying with government guidelines on face coverings. Um, <laughs> yeah. he's, he's the sort of guy who would give you such an evil in a supermarket if you were not wearing the appropriate face covering. <laughs> he, would, he would properly let you know he wasn't happy with you. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so he is a young man. He's a squire, a cavalry man, and he believes in doing things right um, and telling you if you're not. So, yeah, he uh, he's a whole load of fun. He's a barrel of love. <laughs> a whole lot of fun. He's not coming to my birthday party. No, no. Oh, so, so I was supposed to be doing camera work. I'm doing too many things this time. So this this is where are you? Where the fuck are you? Okay, this is uh, Ziggy. This is who's the other person? Oh yeah, Bondo. This is Bondo. Uh, this is no. uh, Pete Teddy. And lastly, but not no, no, no second, no. but lastly, but not leastly. I want to say rat again, but I know it's Tom. So it's Tom. Hey, Tom. Hi, hey. Hey, Tom. Hey. Hello, everybody. Um, yes, I play uh, rat again in the game. Uh, <coughs> thank you so much for the amazing artwork. It's awesome. Um, so rat again is a hedge wizard, um, which means that he grew up in a hedge and he knows <laughs> magic. <laughs> um, he's, uh, you know, he, he's kind of, he grew up in a very small village in the middle of nowhere. Um, and has been cursed by a strange glowing birthmark on his bottom, and we're still in the uh, mystery of which <laughs> cheek. That's like a running thing now. It is a mystery. Mm. Um, it might be on both cheeks, actually. It oh my god! Cross. Double twist. Yeah, that's like <laughs> a double cheek. <laughs> double twist. That's like unusual suspect shit right there. Yeah, it's like high level um, maintenance. Like you really have to think about which butt cheek, and then you realize it's both butt cheeks, and you both. realize. It's your mother. And then, it, and then you realize it's a fake butt. He's yeah. got a fake butt. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> well, again, part of his magic. Uh, like Action Marley has got nothing on you on this one. That's why you're a writer yeah. for film and TV, sir. That's why you're a writer. Um, and so <laughs> currently dressed in a, um, uh, a, um, a robe that he stole from an inn, like a, a bathrobe that he stole an inn, which is because he thought it looked like a cool wizard robe, um, which is like after the first inn he's, Played in after he left um, his village, mm -hmm. and um, as as the fan art uh, amazingly identifies, he kind of does magic, sort of consciously, accidentally. It's like a big sneeze. He doesn't. He's never really learned it properly. He's not read a book or anything. He just sort of sneezes what he wants, and uh, it's like happen. intuitive sorcery, isn't it? Like yeah, you just get a yeah. feeling you should do this, and you do it, and you're like, oh, that's a new thing to do, a new it's spell like or something. Will, isn't it? Yeah, it's like an active. Word. I want this to happen so much it manifests. It's not magic. <laughs> yeah, 
Right, okay. Um, and it's life goals, like turns on, turns offs, perhaps? A bit more information about yeah. it? You know, character progression and everything? <laughs> it's, it's like an act of will, but with more swearing, isn't it? Basically. Yeah, there's yeah. lots of authority. Sneezing, general, yeah. Um, luckily, I've not pooped myself yet. <laughs> He's not pooped himself like, yet. Is that a thing? <laughs> I don't even know what the statistics for that would be. Was it like a toughness or a dexterity roll or something? Yeah, that's a cool okay. roll. That's definitely a cool roll. Okay, yeah, cool roll. All right, okay. let's, I let's hope. A lot of cool let's checks let's hope. Let's hope I don't put you into so much jeopardy. You have to poop spell your way out of that. Okay. So, <laughs> All right. so lastly, but not leastly, because the conversation really does need to move on at this point, uh, we have the man. Who, sorry, the, sorry. Excuse me the gnome who's in charge of our two horses right now uh, on this crazy cart and they're doing a Red Dead Redemption like barreling through the waste. I've been playing far too much of that game. Um, it is Bondo. Uh, sorry, I mean Hello, Jim. Everyone. Good evening. Yes, I'm Jim. I play the gnome Bondo with the uh, inability to use the word I <laughs> because he can't. Anyway, we don't know why. Um, apart from maybe a traumatic head wound. Um, yes, definitely. Bondo is in charge of the horses. He's the only one who can drive a cart right now. And hopefully it's going to be a hayride to remember. And you are a pharmacist who has illusions of Delusions of, of grandeur. Mm -hmm. Yes. Delusions of adventure, more really. Does Bondo do that thing where like, somebody, like, somebody says a question and it's a completely unrelated topic that you've never even heard of, but you answer with so confidently that people have to stop and go, did he... Is that really like a bundle of things? It's rainbows. You know, oh, well, I guess, yeah, I <laughs> yeah. get it. I guess rainbows yeah, speak could. Confident. Yeah, I yeah, guess they always, could be rainbows. Always. Like, well, yeah. okay. So, really, I'll to say five. <laughs> Good. Okay, that was highly confusing and probably not the, the most straightforward we could have done that, but fuck it, we did it. I think we got through that. And our timing <laughs> is now 17 minutes. We're doing very well. I think maybe less haste, more like less speed, more haste next time or something. Which way mm -hmm. does it work? No, haste is speed as well. Yeah, I'm awesome. yeah. Oh I, I think we're doing good. Okay, so let's just recap very, very quickly. <sighs> okay, I didn't breathe for the last 20 minutes. Okay, so let's, let's just uh, recap. So our four adventurers met each other in something called Mortshelm, which was a fortified town in the border. Here it is, the world over here. This is the part of the old world. The border prince is down there, uh, near Carrick Hearn and Barrack Bar, which are dwarf um, strongholds. Uh, humans occupy this land, but it's a very rough and ready uh, land, surrounded by orcs and all kinds of terrible things that are constantly fighting for the area. They fled, uh, so they joined a wagon by a Mr. Herr Sinterklaas, who is a famous merchant, a philanthropist, um, who was going through the land, uh, spreading joy <laughs> with his caravan and ho-ho-hos. Completely unrelated to anything in this world. Um, not that yeah. I had a weird dream and a night, strange night. Um, the night before I came up with that. Um, so yes, so that happened. Uh, you were sent off to investigate Dunkelhof, which was a small um, Dunkelhofen, sorry, which is a small village. Uh, been um, plagued by the pox the year before. Uh, nobody was there. You found that it was in, infested with spider-like creatures, arachnoids, we're calling them. They're not actually spider-like, as Steve continually to points out. I got your messages and emails, Steve. Please stop texting me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not having the term spider-like. I think that's fine. Fine. We've agreed now. Thank you. Um, our 30 odd years of friendship is now safely secure again. So this is a rabbit that I drew to try and distract people away from that. <laughs> oh, um, the rabbi. And after it's going into <laughs> this is a rabbi rabbit, and after going into after going into uh, after going into I'm really trying hard this time. After going into a talite a talarite church, a talarite church. Tal is the god of nature, cool and hippies, basically. Um, you had uh, Tom had a moment. I guess it was a moment, like a senior moment, uh, where he was uh, he was touched by a god in a in a good way. I really need to back up. <laughs> he was touched on the forehead, man. Nothing weird. All right, so unless you want it to be, that's fine too. Um, so anyway, he was he was touched. I unless you want it to be. <laughs> Stop. I'm just I'm trying to get through the introduction, man. We were doing really well. Twenty minutes. Oh fuck. Okay, so uh, then then uh, oh my god, the spiders fled to a uh, the town hall where you where the fuck where you found where you found where you, where you found. 
found <laughs> the villagers being cocooned by said Ragnoids. Fuck you, Steve. Um, we also met Veronica Class, who turned out to be a spider-infused uh, cultist of some sort, and uh, what had been expecting the the moron, the buffoon, um, whom I think we were all uh, agreeing that she relating out of the four of buffoons in front of her was was relating to um, uh, to Tom's character, to Rattigan. Rattigan, uh, who is um, <laughs> Rattigan. Um, you then fought a very powerful duel. You lost a fate point. By the way, you all have little funky fate points in your boxes. See this? That's a fate Ooh. point marker. Yeah. Fate points basically are your one ups, your your extra lives. Uh, kind of like Indiana Jones diving out the way of a big like bowling thing that's exp like a big ball thing and then bursting out like in another world he'd be squashed whereas if he spends a fate point he manages to burst through into the jungle but only to be surrounded by um, a lot of pissed off people because he's just desecrated their temple and whatnot. Um, so yeah, so it's that kind of thing, right? Um, you then left the village as it started to burn. Uh, I think you had something to do with that fire, but obviously yeah, the yeah, evidence yeah. is gone, so I guess you got away with that one. We're not, by the way, we're not promoting like arson is... Ars how do you say that, Tom? Arson. 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 Oh, as simple as that. We're not promoting, not promoting the arson. act of arson. Arson. It arson. Just, arson. arson. <laughs> it just seems to happen a lot to our to our players. So I'm just saying that's not a thing. It's just their thing. But I would only agree with it. <laughs> play it. <laughs> players go and play. We really need to get a lawyer for this. Okay, so last we saw of our players. Jesus, Neil, that was a mess. All right, so last we saw... Hold on, you forgot the most important thing. <laughs> that Ziggy picked up an amazing sword oh, covered right. in like spiders. Oh, yeah. I've been... I've been <laughs> that's that's the power that's over. It was really exactly. fucking good. It was a really well, it cool. Looks, it looks like a spider. It's a really it's fucking good sword. It's really good. In fact, if you want to see it, you can go to uh, Wode Veronica's Instagram page because she's fucking made it. Wode Veronica oh, wow. has made a spider sword. What? Yep, and no lie. Is she? No lie. Oh. Is it is it better than your drawing there now? It's. <laughs> I would say. <laughs> I would say. It's not a banana. I would say this is not Veronica sword. This is a banana sword, as you can Nine see. None of the erectile see? dysfunction. Is <laughs> this is not an erectile dysfunctional sword. There you go. It's got a little sword stand. It happens well. to forty percent of swords over the age of forty. <laughs> One in five swords. Super. I'm going to get rid of my banana sword. But anyway, if you want to see a better sword, whether Veronica. Or so anywhere. <laughs> 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 Look, I know, I know it's somebody's birthday, and I know we may have various danger drinks in front of us, but that's no excuse. That's not an excuse to, I, you know what? I'm a kind god, but a, even a god has. I'm a demigod, right? I have my limits. He's still gonna kill us this week. I'm totally gonna kill you. I have no idea. I, yes, I you can't kill us because they're referring to us as their drunk uncles now. So you <laughs> all, I, all I did for the last two weeks, I'm not lying, and since we did this, hey. was think of ways to kill you all in a creative, fictional, truthful manner. That's like the only way. Not like you. Obviously, I'm, I'm glad yeah. you enjoyed your holiday. I think it was great. <laughs> right. really I've just I've just seen Woe there. She actually literally made it rather she than. She literally like, made it. Yes. Yeah, it's not, I thought you meant like drawing it, but just no, the words. No, no, no. But no she actually it. made it. Made it. Oh, Zombie apocalypse. Right. No worries. Find her. You'll be oh, fine. That, and that makeup is uh, what's the expression? What the young people say? Off the hook. Off the hook. Is that what they Indeed, say? Is that what they said? You sound so years. fucking old right now. It, it, <laughs> now you sound like a drunk yeah. uncle for sure. It's, oh, like, yeah. it's like if you refer to the Twitter. <laughs> like like it's the Twitter's plural. I'll have yeah, you the know. Twitter. Yeah, yeah. My, okay. my Instagram is on fleek. Right, yeah. okay. So uh, last we saw, because I'm really going to try and charge us into this game whether you like it or not. Uh, last we saw our heroes. <laughs> We're oh, on their rolls. cart, speeding away from another, but not another, no, I guess you haven't burnt anything before, a burning village <laughs> <laughs> with Steve on his ridiculously pompously named horse, Leviticus. Leviticus. Uh, on their side. Uh, the two horses are unnamed because they're not interesting enough to have penguins. names. Penguins. They are penguins. <laughs> they're horses. Penguins. Fuck you. They're horses. It's the, it's the only thing my wife knows about our game is that we, we ride war penguins into battle. So <laughs> no. if they go, if they go, you're going to lose a viewer now. What does they, she, they, 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 what she, what she think you've been doing for the last five weeks? <laughs> <laughs> like something like it's probably best you know i was trying to think of something that was less embarrassing than doing this to tell like I, you know so you um, porn or something. I, well i told her i'd join the jehovah witnesses actually but, um, <laughs> yeah oh, that's a choice okay so moving on moving forward moving forward okay so you're on your horses and the car 
I'm gonna kill all of you. I don't care. I'm in that mood. <laughs> I got that mood right now. I'm gonna kill you all. The car right. explodes. The car explodes. <laughs> Fuck you. The end. <laughs> the end. Roll your characters again. <laughs> right. And this time, learn your lessons. All right. So. Um, okay, right. we're all dwarves, troll You're slayers. Dwarves. You happy now? Yeah. No, I'm coming. Of... I'm coming back as Aloy out of Horizon Zero Dawn. That's all that I've been doing all week. That and, uh, that's... Pretty, that pretty I want... awesome, when I grow up, I want to be Aloy. Yeah, that's pretty cool. All Is right. it too late for me? No. You... Can I just play the game? <laughs> play the game. All right then. Thank you. All oh, right. Now you want to play the game? Now, now you talk for 25 minutes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> you understand how this works, Pete? This is just therapy for me. We yeah. established that. Okay. I'm, yes. I'm, yeah, I'm yeah, going to yeah. put myself on the naughty yeah, step okay. for five minutes. Thank you very much. Please put your. Please do so. Okay. So our heroes, and we did a little Michael Bay. <laughs> were charging their way down the valley floor, uh, hurtling back towards Sinterklaas's camp, to tell him the sad news that. His independent, strong uh, wife isn't actually a door-to-door -door salesperson. It's actually a spider cultist. Um, I guess that's what you're going to say to him, right? We are yeah, now. It, not <laughs> so many. For a second there, you went so quiet. I was like, oh my god, has everything crashed? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you remember that wife because she has her arm? Right, yeah. okay. Cool. So who's got the arm, by the way? Who's carrying the arm in a sack? Ziggy's reading a pamphlet on breaking bad news for health professionals in the old world. <laughs> as, as governed by the army, the military forces. <laughs> and he's practice. He's practicing that sort of look. So, uh, so your wife's a cultist. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. It's not. You're going to do it in an old world accent. So, your wife is a cultist. Bravo. <laughs> Yeah. You should tell is, is, there, is there anybody you would like with you while we have this conversation? <laughs> <laughs> Guards, restrain <laughs> him! Uh, this is an old Worlder accent, not to be confused with the German accent, too similar, not the same, just pointing that out for libel. Okay, so um, you guys are hurtling along. All our pronouns oh, man, are he, him, by the way. Again. So I just forgot to add all of our pronouns are he, him. Uh, but your characters, I, I don't know what your characters' pronouns are. I haven't, got the, uh, I haven't been polite enough to ask. So your, uh, your cart is barreling down this valley. Um, and last we left you, I believe you saw four shapes hurtling at the same speed, almost as fast as your horses can bolt, uh, coming down the sides of this uh, very suddenly narrow, uh, kind of like crevasse-like valley part. Well, the valley sort of narrows, but it's sort of like a little crevasse. Um, and they, they, you can see that there's four giant spiders, aloft which are... Uh, four goblins armed with bows and also with uh, spears and on the furthest one is the arm now armless and reasonably miffed uh, Veronica class who's giggling and cackling um, I guess like a villain like a maniac maniac is it too strong no it's good maniacal maniacal yeah. there you go. why not yeah she's maniacally laughing uh, clouds of swirling purple and green uh, fog is sort of uh, enveloping her and her spider who looks a little bit bigger than the rest of them and uh, she's sort of very much like you know she seems to be losing herself to madness uh, all right folks you all get a round now these things are a little too far away right now to do an attack unless you have a bow um, I guess you're would you would your um Sling, you're very cool. That's why Sad Neil exists, by the way, because you have a really cool slingshot. And I wanted that as a kid. I'm, I, I, exactly. I'm, it's got a range of 150. The extreme. Yeah, is that extreme? Yeah, okay. You can do yeah. an extreme hit with it, but they're about 150 yards away. So they, they're much further away than you can see on the board now, folks. Um, but yeah, so you have one round uh, to talk about yourself, uh, take uh, an action before the shit I will is going to hit. Take that. aim then. You're going to take uh, aim. Uh, uh, All right, so take yeah, yeah, aim. Yes. Taking aim adds on to your blissit skill. What is your blissit skill, sir? It is 37. 37. So blissit skill is now 47 for the next shot only because you're taking aim. You can take aim. And that'll bring them rounds. less than extreme range. Well, which <coughs> that means... should, I mean, they're going sort of diagonally, um, kind of parallel, but kind of diagonal to you. So yeah, that should bring you into mm. long range, uh, which I think is totally fine. Um, cool. So, okay. yeah. That cool. is your go. Uh, you can also talk. Uh, talking is a free action. So you can all talk amongst yourselves or shout, what have you. Uh, Steve, it is now your turn, Herr Kopfman. Kopfman. It's, 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 it's Corporal Hauptmann. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> I didn't go and, to Corporal uh, School for three years. We called him Herr. Thank you very much. 
Sure. Yeah, no, so Ziggy is like actually properly enjoying himself because he's on the back of a horse and there is an enemy who is unmounted and this is exactly what the cavalry trained for. So he actually is going to wheel his horse Are they mounted, and dude? charge. Are they mounted too? Yeah, all the goblins are riding the spider. They're all mounted. They're well, all that's mounted. even better then. That's even better. That's a proper sort of okay. horse on horse action sort of thing. <laughs> that's, that's great. Uh, horse on rackneed action. Horse on rackneed action. <laughs> I kind of feel like if Ziggy were to actually say this out loud, be like, oh, no, no, that's, 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 that is better. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, it's, no, no, it's actually quite good. Yeah. Like one of those high things he, where you can tell he's lying, but he's just trying to cover it kind of thing. You know? Yeah, he's he's yeah he's not good at the old bluffing. Um, so he's got a good singing voice. He has a um, great singing voice. Falsetto. He does he does German opera in falsetto, um, which is why <laughs> he's Walter, getting unpopular. Oh, Walter, not German. Oh, Walter. <laughs> Trying to avoid oh, yes. libel here. Oh, That's right. Yeah. What's the what's the what's the Chancellor of um, Angela Merkel? Do you think she's lit watching Angela Merkel at yeah, the moment? Yeah, I got a message Definitely. from her. She's, she's yeah, okay probably as long did. as we don't refer to it as German accents, but old world accents. Yeah, as long as we don't use any sort of uh, racial derogatory terms, she's fine. So German, I think, is okay. So I'm going to just wheel. I'm getting very dramatic. Like, yeah, yeah, sort of wheel. I, I, I don't know how you spur a hearse on with a German accent. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. I, I think, yeah, yeah. So, yes, yes. Yeah. Schnell. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Schnell. Schnell, 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 Schnell. 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 So I'll just, I'll just that, right? wheel towards the nearest enemy and okay, I will so... draw my sabre and hold onto the reins with one hand okay, and so... charge towards one of them. So just to let you know that these these are these are like valley walls. So the arrow is sort of like, this is like the, the gradient going up, right? So this is a gradient of about 20 de 15, 20 degrees. So it's reasonably steep. Um, it's not like sh obviously sheer, but you're going to be definitely kind of going up with them coming down at you. What about intercepting Veronica, Steve, as she's <coughs> on your left and ahead of you? Yeah, well, whatever the most sort of peachy target is, I'm, I'm struggling yeah. a little bit. No, no fault of the artist, but yeah. Yeah, I reckon if are you... We, are we heading that way? Are we you're heading, heading, yes, we're heading that way. Yeah. I oh, had yeah. this strange idea that the horses were pushing the cart instead of pulling it. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> and you're a um, doctor with the NHS, you say. Oh, oh. <laughs> Well, these are penguins, oh, remember. Yeah. These are not I, the I don't fucking think we've penguins. Ever, I don't, I don't, we never settled how a penguin you know what? provides power you know what? to a car. Fuck you, man. This is a rabbit, right? It's a fucking <laughs> rabbit. Okay? That's a Whoa, fucking rabbit. Someone giving you the finger. This is a fucking <laughs> penguin. Giving me the finger. <laughs> That's Actually, a penguin, look... right? Okay, oh, big yeah. feet. Uh, fucking penguin. Still just fucking me rabbit. With his friends. <laughs> there you go. Okay? And this Thank is a you. horse. No, I'm not yes. going to draw the horse because that would, like, un that would yeah, not be dignified. Yeah, right? <laughs> sure, well, I, I, I will right. steer towards the... But the penguin isn't real, though, yeah? It's not a fucking penguin. Okay, so it's, okay, like, it's a spider. That, sorry, it's not even a spider, it's a rachnoid. Jesus, deal. Rachnoid. Why is that making okay, so, right, Which is can nail? Where is the cultist woman? So the cultist yeah. is sort of riding aloft on, on like a little saddle on like it's a cute saddle. It's like got flowers. Well, and I've, shit, I've, got this, I've got this poetic notion that I'm going to kill her with her own sword. So I'm oh. going to wheel towards her. Then that's a great yeah. idea, Jim. Yeah. <coughs> cool. Okay. So, um, by the way, are you taking this? Are you drawing the sword as you do so with your shield out and whatnot? Yeah. Well, I'm I, no. I, I don't, I'm not sure. It depends how good a cavalry man. If I'm if I'm a good enough cavalry man to steer the horse with my knees, you have right draw my shield. You? You have ride horse. I have animal care uh, and ride horse. Yeah, yeah you're t you're totally proficient to be able to ride this using your, your weight. I don't know if he rides horses or not, but you can actually use it with head turns. You can actually turn your head, and if your horse is highly trained, it will go where you're sort of indicating. It's very cool. So you can cool. sort of do that. Your horse has got indicators on it as well. Yes. <laughs> 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 well, in that case, I'll take a mirror. <laughs> fake around, man. And take right and left. Yeah, MC. It has, little, it has little indicators <laughs> of little flags <laughs> that are just like they're usually down and then you just like you lift something and it just goes that, <laughs> to the side actually like it. it's exactly what Ziggy would do check his mirrors he'd indicate before pulling into a <laughs> lane of lane of traffic um, and then he'll, and right. he'll so but if he can if he can do if he can have his something in both hands doesn't need to hold the reins then yeah, yeah no, I've got a cool. shield in one hand and a cavalry saber and I'm gonna you know cool. I'm doing actions but you guys can't see are you are you still indicating <laughs> your little, your little <laughs> indicator on the side <laughs> Up the hill. All right. So you're yeah. sort of you're sort of racing up the hill now on a trajectory that's yeah. going to intercept Veronica, who's sort of co she's coming down like this direction, and you're going up this direction. If that makes sense, you can see that on the board. Yeah. Uh, thank yeah. God we got a board because I'm really not describing that very well. 
Um, cool. Okay, so that's your action. That is going to be all you can do. You'll be intercepting sure. her in the next turn, I, I suspect. You'll be you'll be making a turn. Um, Okay, so next up is, uh, I believe, is Ratigan. Ratty. Yeah, Ratty. Ratty. <coughs> what are you doing, sir? Um. So, like this car, have we got defenses on? Are, are these like barrels? Those are actually barrels of supplies. Because your, yours is like the, one of the supply wagons originally. Like you were sort of hired muscle, but. You're also the wagons all have a purpose. They're all carrying supplies of what you don't know. But the, so there are right. barrels and stuff there as well. They are. We, we've got like a natural defense between us and the. Yeah, well, I wouldn't um, say natural in so far as it's a barrel. <laughs> it's not like it's a steel wall or something. Like that. <laughs> but yeah, it's something in the way. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna move um, this the the spider the um, goblin spider dude that's coming down straight down the wall the, the valley towards sort of the side of the cart here yeah so i'm i'm going to step forward towards him kind of still but still obviously behind you can use a barrel for cover which you'll get yeah about. using a barrel for cover yeah. but as i do so i reach into my um pocket yeah pull out um a pack of butter that i as sold. you do so i'm going to stop you there for a second tom as you're about to reach uh, you get the, like the idea in your head or you need to you need to get some butter out this is for the spell butterfingers right yes okay as you do so you f you suddenly remember that you you're sort of your back and the sides of you, your your pockets start like wriggling and you suddenly remember that you've got two ferrets in either pocket yeah of your bathrobe because you got you rescued those little ferrets right from the cocoon right. the spider thing if anyone yeah. doesn't know what the fuck we're talking about i really urge you to go to the youtube channel and watch the other chapters because really you're gonna have a much better time if you do <laughs> uh, but anyway these ferrets you rescued and, you, and they had very very strange that they were cocoon in the first place I guess it was somebody's pets but one of them like ripples up very quickly around your neck and just sits on your shoulder, like clinging onto you. The other one starts jumping immediately into your little, po the inner pockets of your bathrobe. I guess you sewed up, so little ingredients pockets, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he starts nibbling around and then just pulls out a piece of butter with his paw and then just whisks his way up your sleeve and sits on your hand holding the butter and not eating it, which is really weird for a ferret. Because ferrets love butter, right? Thanks, little ferret. <laughs> I love the little ferret. Tom, have I freaked you out a bit with this? Am I freaking you out, Tommy? Is that I mean, a bit weird? Have I really freaked your noggin out there, mate? It's That's awesome. I mean, I don't know. So it somehow knew that I was going to do that spell, right? Yeah. So, so I'm sorry to mess with your brain, uh, your poor noggin. What? But it has actually somehow read your mind and has taken the ingredient that you needed out of your pouch, one of the pouches inside your bathrobe, and has rippled up its way, uh, whisked its way up to your bathrobe uh, arm, sleeve, into your right, I think your right dominant, right? Into your right hand, yeah. and is now sitting on your open right hand with the butter in its like little paw, and just placed the butter on your hand. I've got like a ferret magic loading device. <laughs> I was I was very drunk the last week or two. Yeah, <laughs> I thought it was a good idea at the time. Oh Saying out loud, not so not so sure about this actually. <laughs> so yeah, oh, so you have a ferret, you have a magical ingredient ferret loading thingy. If you, will. I'm gonna have to give these guys names because uh, have to give them names. Yeah, at some yeah, because they're awesome. They're staying. <laughs> so um, this so this little ferret just like looks at you and just stares right at you, and you notice its eyes are like. You've never really stared, you haven't really looked at these things. I mean, you just whacked them in your pocket. You put these strange ferrets in your pockets without really introducing yourself very well. Yeah, they um, kind of just got in there. They kind of got in like, there, really. I saved them from the spider web. From the didn't fire they? and everything, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah so, were. but you, you suddenly notice that this one has incredibly, like, blue, acumar like, like, deep blue, sparkling, sapphire like eyes. And it's just staring at you. And then it's, it gives a little, oh, you can't, no, this is ridiculous. This is like a radio thing. Uh, you, it's a little nose, um, like, kind of like just twitches. And it's a little whiskers. And it just like becomes 20% cuter than it did a minute ago. And just gives this little nose twitch as if, as if to say, okay, is that cool? Are we cool? You don't talk like that. I don't know how cool. Yeah. We're very cool, guy. Um, so he, he, I, he, he dropped the butter into the because I'm still in the middle of casting a spell here this is yeah this he's, is like, he moves up your arm a little bit to get out of the way or he goes back into the pocket actually he sort of jumps okay. back into the pocket all right after, so, after the very cute nose twitch i was about very to important do a detail. Move with my with my pack of butter but um <laughs> i'm like 
slightly woke uh, about it. But um, yeah, so after that happens, I sort of um, go, oh yeah, okay. And, <laughs> wait, here we go. Um, and so at that moment, I look at the goblin, the closest goblin rider that's coming down the hill to the side uh, here, this guy. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I'm going to clap my hands together and go, oh, you better drop that, you bastard. <laughs> <laughs> and that, ladies and gentlemen, new to the show is exactly how Tom Cast spells. Oh. I know it's highbrow, but try it's intellectual, yeah. but try and stay with us. Um, so, okay. So, what happens? So, I, I need to make a, a dexterity test for the goblin, yes? Uh, yes. And you need yeah. to get rid of those lovely, yummy, delicious magic points that you've been hoarding to yourself. Like a little, oh, greedy, yeah, that, little that, greedy wizard. That's three magic points I just expended. Lovely. All right. So I've got my little, uh, I got my little dice over here. So I'm gonna roll this thing. See if it does it. Uh, okay, that's a big failure. So that's eighty-one. Uh, yeah. So you you see this like kind of goblin who's pretty excited. He's kind of like the goblin equivalent of Ziggy right now. He's like young goblin. Well, you can't tell he's young, but he's. I'm telling you. <laughs> out of character he's a young goblin he's like he's like a cool goblin like he's he's standing up in yeah. the saddle like he's like rah, 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 which i guess is the goblin equivalent of woo 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 you know yeah you know, use your imagination um so he's a he's, goblin boy racer. yeah he's like a goblin boy racer and he's holding his like very large it's almost like a longbow it's like a massive bow in its hand and he goes yeah, yeah, yeah like that and just as he does you cast a spell uh, actually, tell us the effects of the spell, Tom, because I'm tired. So I clap my hands together. The butter, as I say, oh, you better drop that, you bastard. Um, the butter <laughs> evaporates and a kind of shockwave travels from my... A yummy, yellowy, hand. buttery shockwave. A yellow, buttery, and, and sort of blasts the um, bow out of his hand. Like that. Um, and it flies backwards, sort of like, woohoo. I can't yeah. believe it's magic. It's magic. It's Nice. You crumpet his hand, basically. <laughs> I butter his... I butter his... <laughs> <laughs> All right, so he drops I the bow. Crumpet. He, nice. He drops yeah. the bow and it goes flying off behind him. And yeah. uh, I'm going to make an, I'm gonna make an intelligence test, actually, because these things aren't the brightest fucking sparks on the planet. Um, boop, 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 boop. Okay, yeah. So he, he decides to... He looks at you, looks at his empty hand realizes he's not going to be much good in a fight and actually puts the brakes immediately on the spider and then, <laughs> and then goes back for his bow looking like really embarrassed <laughs> like really, really embarrassed um cool okay so um that's your go sir so yeah and your, your little you notice the little furry ferret in your right pocket i guess like gives, thumps against your like your 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 uh, rib cage like with his little paw, yeah. like like that um, and then just sort of nuzzles into you a little bit and then just looks out of your pocket. Give me a little ferret thumbs up. Yeah, I really, I'm going to try and draw this thing. Oh, it's like, it's like this. Wings. It's like that. And just puts a little paw against you like right. that. Right. Like it's super they happy with nice. it. That's his other paw. Yeah. This is whiskers. I'm, I'm, I'm figuring out, names is going to, yeah. I might throw it open to everyone. We'll see. Can I give, you, can I give you an idea of what not to call it? What? Leviticus. <laughs> 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 like, don't call it Leviticus or anything like that. Ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Which one of these is the next one, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's go with that. So this is your that's your little ferret, which looks a little ratty, I admit, but then you are ratty. Okay, so that's your little ferret. Um, cool. Yeah, kind of ratty ferret. Greetings. Yeah. So next on the list is Bondo. You are Hello. in control of these two horses, uh, and you see, uh, okay, they, the horses are getting very skittish. These creatures are clearly some kind of creatures of chaos. They're emanating like pure evil, and they probably swear a lot as well. They're really like obnoxious animals. Um, Asbo. Creatures. Yeah, you're going to have yeah. to make a leadership test. <laughs> <laughs> Asbo creatures of chaos. Asbo rachnoids. Yes. Asbo rachnoids is now a right, subgenre okay. of these particular monsters. Okay. Um, okay. Leadership. You are going right. to. So, so can you please make a leadership test? However, do you have drive cart though, don't you? I do. 22 i pass oh nice Yay. okay so these so the two horses get incredibly skittish um and get super like freaked out and you manage to like 
to give them a yeah yeah like that and you sort of can take control immediately whereas you see them starting to get totally freaked out and keep them on track and you actually get a bit of speed burst from it as well because their adrenaline is really kicking off and they're getting completely freaked out so now they're, they're really starting to pace quick uh, question pace. neil yeah at this point is the rachnoid on my right and ahead of me in the path of the horses or is he still up, up are no. they still up they are Four. they're sort of coming down the valleys at you but they won't be they won't be getting in front of you if you're you you should be able to outpace them just about but they may be able to be like they might be able to like turn and power slide alongside you or something but they won't get in front of you no. okay i was hoping to run them over but you know um well in that case well bond will get up get the bastards moving yeah so and, you, you uh, have got a little burst of speed yeah. cool okay so you're just still driving for that's your that's your reaction um cool i guess that's is that everybody uh yeah that's yep. everybody okay so these things uh -huh. now because this thing is now sort of like still uh going back he's picked up his bow turned the speeder you know basically these are like the fast and furious equivalent of chaos monsters they're like power sliding everywhere in fact you're pretty sure that this <laughs> goblin over here power slided unnecessarily so he could have just stopped and picked it up instead he did like one of those like leaning over like the spiders like so the ragnar is like sliding on two of its legs he sort of like does this like cool look to you guys for no reason whatsoever like hey my name is goblin diesel I don't know. <laughs> help me out here folks all right so he does like a Vin diesel no. look to you and then just like slides around picks up the bow and then starts like pelting down the side of the valley towards you again uh where the veronica changes her course ever so slightly to sort of go on to an, an intercept course with um steve and these two are starting to like turn a little bit and the goblins are all now trying to fire at you we are back in initiative order so actually i guess some of you lot will get to go first and then our our baddies will uh, will be able to attack as well so teddy it's back to you sir you've been aiming for one round who yep, have yep, you been aiming, aiming at, at this this the, 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 this, this this little this, yeah well mainly the spider the sorry spider. the arachnoid yeah. so we can take out the arachnoid it's um, a, then a large hopefully it's a large animal um so well, this large sounds creature. like i'm gonna give you a plus 10 on that because it's a creature and a rider however um you may not necessarily get to you may miss the character the rider and sorry the creature and get the, the rider if that makes sense it's a, hit. it's a hit it's cool I what rolled was your hit? 30 30 where's your dice? down here 30 okay you got 30 three zero okay cool uh, D6, Ooh. and that's So, four. seven points of damage. Seven points of damage on the... I'm going to say that's an easy hit. So, let's say it was actually the creature. So, that's on the giant spider. So, that's seven points of damage. Okay. So, you smack into its, the side of its head. And it just does it like that. And then but it doesn't really alter its course at all. However, it's definitely a solid hit. So, um, you gave it a good a good whopping. Um, yeah. Anybody in... It's a stone to the temple. That's going to hurt right. even a spider, right? So um, anybody in, in the chat now will be able to see me putting down the wounds that they've been taking. Wounds works like bruises or near misses and little cuts and things. Basically, when they get to zero wounds, that's when things start going dr dr drastically wrong. Like people get stabbed for real or they get their arm cut off or something. Sorry, that was really too soon. Veronica's actually in the chat. Sorry. But yeah, they get their arm cut off or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> so embarrassing when one of the bad guys is actually listening in. Okay, so, um, sorry, bad people. Sorry, bad, guys. Uh, bad people are listening in to the shame. Um, so yeah, sorry about that, with your, your arm. What, I guess we, do we call you, and do we call you, have we had any armless jokes yet? Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> are, you, are you saying that Veronica and chat is the same Veronica? I'm actually kidding here. Um, not the same, but we definitely saw well, her name. Where have you been for the last two, like, memory things man well no i know that but you're sort of implying that we're attacking her personally it like, was a bit whoa. it didn't work so we please move on with our lives <laughs> all right <gotcha. laughs> it's, 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 it's not like when you say i don't believe in fairies a little bit <laughs> so, <Yeah>. every time <laughs> every... i'm not sure i want to roll these dice anymore they might have real world consequences <laughs> <laughs> every time one of neil jokes fails Somebody actually loses an armor. I don't know. I don't know how that works. So, um, <laughs> it's not. It's not. That would be bad. It is not. We do not have real world consequences of this game. It is a fictional game. We'll just let's move on. Fuck you guys. Let's please move on and play the game. All right. So, um, what are we doing? Jesus, where are you? Am I stroking out right now? Riding a long rack noise. <laughs> cool. Yeah, okay. So you've hit. Yeah, uh, it's now Ziggy's turn. You guys. Right. Have I got have I got enough movement now to reach Veronica and um, do you a do. sort of a Monty Python um, Black Knight 
Um, <laughs> <There's> sketch <a threat. laughs> so, two, two spatter flesh wound. Um, Are you gonna throw her arm at her? I want you to do that. <laughs> like use it as like yeah, a, a flail or something. Her with it. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I I'm challenge not, you to a duel. <laughs> I'm gonna psych her out by by just, just putting my sword away and just throwing her arm in her lap as I wheel past. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you're, you're traveling so fast that I guess you could make a second attack as you pass her or or the spider. Oh, sorry, the arachnoid or something. But. I'm inclined to just give you one. However, let's just see how the first one goes. I guess you might need some help. All right. Can, so I, can I can I attack with my spider sword then? You can totally attack with your spider sword. In fact, you sort of as you as you're holding the spider sword, the rachnoid is actually pelting its way towards you with Veronica on its back, and, and you can just hear it go, tired, tired, tired. <laughs> It's just like it's just like stomping its way towards you. It just repeats the like same it, word, tired, I was tired, like that. Because you can hear it. Gonna, you can hear its speech now. Yeah, that's what I was, was going to say. So last Leah, last week, I was sort of aware of what the spiders were. Oh, cool. God, that mean we, right. don't, we don't get dolphin noises anymore. God, this, this is going to be. Oh, you get dolphin oh, noises. Oh, <laughs> oh, get, well, <laughs> Pete, it's your fault, dude. I forgot about the whole thing. I was going to use something like or something, but no. Thank you for reminding me, and thank you. Oh, that's horrible. <laughs> Sorry, folks. Yeah. <laughs> Hashtag chat update. didn't like that. No. Uh, yeah, there's, some, there's some chat saying, please don't use the noise. <laughs> well, I mean, it's, it's one of those things like, this is our, my world that I've created for you lot to play in, and I, Neil, I'm Neil, make it's Angela ruling. Merkel I think, I think saying it's stop different. it. It's, Ang it's Angela Merkel saying stop the dolphin noises, okay? Yes, Oh, uh, okay. She, so, well, I guess she's like she is listening. Of the, of the viewer, anyway. All right, fine. So, sorry about that. <laughs> She, she's an elder states person, man. Have some respect. Sorry, the chance. Sorry to the chance. Okay, um, so um, fine. So <laughs> oh, Jesus, you lot are like it's it's really like. I'm have to, I, like this... Do I have to? Who's sitting together, like country wise? <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm gonna make you go to other countries to sit you put you apart. Pete, I know Ooh, you're can Australian. I go to New Zealand, please? No, I'll no, New you stay in Australia. I'm gonna send somebody mm. else to like I don't know Germany, and then actually quite useful to go to Germany because you can talk to the chancellor about the. Dolphin noises. All right, focus now. Jesus, focus. So, all right, so Steve, you're going to be making an attack with your spider sword. Um, are you attacking the rider, or are you attacking Veronica, or are you attacking um, the rachnoid? Um, no, I think I'm going to attack Veronica. I think, sorry, Veronica, okay. but um, I hate that bitch. Um, and, uh, Whoa. Well, it's yeah. true. I mean, she she did some. She nearly. Well, I don't know. I'm on two wounds. I think she badly injured me. She fireballed um, you into the chest. So, I some, might do that again. Like, I, I, I forget. I, I forget. But yeah, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna try and chop. Her, I'm literally gonna try and chop off her other arm. That's what Ziggy has in his head. He's gonna chop off her other arm. Her other arm. <laughs> With her own sword. <laughs> Amazing. With her own sword. Thus making her no threat to the party because she'll be armless. <laughs> okay, so oh come on, you all like begging to do that. Uh, come on, roll your dice. Roll the dice. So right, make okay. an attack. Got, uh, I'm gonna make an attack roll. You got go. plus ten for a charge. Dice. Plus ten for a charge. That's a hit. Great with a, with a that I hit and um yeah forty two with with plus ten I hit because my weapon skill is thirty five. So that's... yeah, that's your charge. Oh no, it's, 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 it's thirty four hit anyway. Yeah. Anyway, so that's good. So roll your d6 cool. for damage. Roll my d6. Uh, okay. Roll my pretty. For so that is plus um, your strength. Yeah, Ooh, and strength mighty blow. So do I get strength? extra? Do I get extra damage? For, oh, it's four. Your strength of four plus four plus strike mighty blow. That's another one. So it's nine. Um, so do I get anything for being on? Do I get anything for being on the back of a horse going at you like? You do. You get. You actually get an extra damage. <laughs> so that's ten yes. points of damage. And do I get anything for using a cool black spider sword? Not that that was the extra point for using a cool black Oh, was it? Sword. You were lying to me. Okay, cool. All right, yeah. so that's 10 then, is that, is that right? That's a Four 10. Plus six, 10, yeah. Okay. So as you do so, as you come to chop, and it is like one of those chops, you know it's going to be like a meaty hit. You can just like, yeah, yeah, I'm going to cut your other arm off. Right, one of those chops. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry, Steve. That sounded ridiculous. Yeah, I'm going to cut your other arm off. Is that sounds sounds like like yeah, it doesn't sound ridiculous. Yeah, it doesn't sound ridiculous. So, yeah, right. it's an issue. so you're, you're looking for a very, like, a very precision like cut, and you're about to strike, and as you do so, she gets something out of an, a bag and just crushes it, and suddenly just goes leaping into the air um, about 30 or 40 feet. Oops, that's not quite right. Like this. She just literally, literally 
doesn't do what I'm asking to do there yet. She starts leaping into the air, and you, you miss her, and actually you cut into the spider. Sorry, the rachnoid. Um, who takes the brunt of the damage, and actually there's this horrible screech like that across, and you and actually rake straight through across its back, and you hear it go, why? <laughs> As you cut into its back. Why? I, feel, like I, feel, instant, I feel instant remorse. Now, I, now I've sort of... Um, now you can hear them. Now this I can understand fun, what they're it? saying. No, it's not. It's not. not. Fun, I, I give up my life of adventuring and become a... A spider farmer. <laughs> <laughs> the, spider <vet. laughs> the spider whisperer is now what you I'm are. Going, now the spider I'm whisperer. Going, I'm going. Damn, damn, she's so nimble. How is she so nimble? And I'm cutting the cutting the spider, but I'll, I'll, I'm happily I'm happy killing a arachnoid instead of killing a Veronica. Fair enough. That's, so this thing that like still makes me happy. This thing like smashes past you, and Veronica's sort of floating in the air, and she does this leap that she's on like a parabolic arc, so she's going to land back in the saddle. Like this leap is perfectly matched. To she's her so side. cool. She's really cool, man. Yeah. I thought about Boy. this a lot. <laughs> <laughs> you can make. I feel, I feel disappointed and a little bit turned on. If that's not. That's appropriate. That's fine. <laughs> okay, okay so let's move forward very quickly. So Rat again. So Ratty, uh, it's now. What is your weapon skill? Uh, it's your initiative. Okay, so it's not your initiative. Uh, yes, it's your initiative first. It's actually Veronica's had a go. Uh, yeah, it's your your initiative, Ratty. So what are you gonna do now, sir? What are you? What you're all about? What are you up to? Um, <coughs> so I can't do butterfingers again. Um, is this guy here gonna be close enough to hit soon? Which one? The, the, uh, the spider, the yeah. arachnoid on our left. They're like on the left. Of the like these two goblins, like they're not even got bows. They're like sizing up to jump on. So they they're sort of like coming on a, a sort of power sliding uh, angle. So the, these these little gobos look like they're about to jump on top of the um, of the wagon. Okay, so I'm going to race over to this side of the car. <laughs> yeah. Um, Donkey Kong, um, Donkey Kong. Um. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is that some like yeah. sex thing I don't need to know about? Donkey Kong. Yeah. Is that like a new thing? <laughs> um, I'm to get my open dictionary out and look up what Donkey Kong is for you. It's deeply appropriate, inappropriate to say that. All right, so you're going to Donkey Kong them. What? what are you like tonight? I don't know. <laughs> I've, I've been away, man. I've had rest. I'm like, you know. <laughs> yeah. Got all over the place um, today. So the, are these, these are barrels, yeah? These are barrels, but you, of which the contents of which you haven't bothered to look in, so you don't know what, it's, what they're about. So I'm, I'm basically going to race up to this one and kick it. Okay. In a way that's aimed at kind of getting under the feet of uh, this this nearest rachnoid. <sighs> okay. Oh, I see what you're doing. So you are going to Donkey Kong it by like trying to get them to trip. Yeah, over that's what Donkey Kong is. I know what it meant. I was trying a bit. It didn't work out. None of these things are landing today. So I'm just like, just you know, just trying it anyway, man. You know, it's comedy. All right. So so you're going to Donkey Kong it. I, should, I feel I should apologise to everybody for that last like bad. Bad joke, didn't really like that. All right, so um, you're going to Donkey Kong this thing. Uh, what is your strength? You can't just kick it. I would suggest that you're going to have to, like, shoulder barge the thing. It's pretty heavy. My um, strength is four. Okay. Um, what is your weapon skill, please, sir? 38. 38. So if it's 38 and 40, the average would be 39. Because it's going to be yeah. a weapon skill and strength test. Because you're, you're trying to aim it, but also you're trying to hoof it over the side with your shoulder. Okay. So you, you sort of just run into the thing and give it a good old fashioned yokel shoulder bash. Yeah. Um, <laughs> cool. Okay, so roll your dice, sir. Roll, where are you? Where's your, where's your dice? I'm rolling. Uh, 57. Uh, that is a fail, I believe. That's a fail. Uh, that's going to be a fail even with luck, which will add plus 10 if you choose to add it on, which you won't do. So you sort of you shoulder barge this barrel. It sort of just bounces around. It sort of hits one of the creature's legs, but the legs, the, the creature is so nimble because it's, it's spider-like, Steve. Uh, that it um, it just goes through the legs and it, it manages to avoid it really easily. And um, the goblin sort of lines up and is now like sort of like pressing itself back as if it's about to leap. And um, this other sort of goblin is, is coming up towards the horses. Um, pa -pa 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 -pa, that is your go over with, sir. Um, Bondo, it is now your turn, sir. I just need to quickly give, I've just been informed, the people are asking about the tiny dog. So I have to, I have to, just explain that the tiny dog has started to go to bed even earlier and she just goes Aww. to bed before we start broadcasting these days that's incredible which is why i don't have to go to bed anymore that's very considerate oh right? that's so sweet that's very sweet he's up in her bed is the answer Aww. amazing 
Good dog. I'll, I'll, I'll share a picture of Tiny Dog one day on our Instagram. That'd be great. Um, yes. Uh, it is gorgeous. kind of feel we should change her name to be more like heroic or like high fantasy, though. She, Clementina. Loyal Steed. There you go. Loyal yeah. Steed. Yeah. There you go. Tiny Steed. Not Leviticus. No, not Leviticus. Yeah. Or, 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 or my two, Loki the Poodle and Logan the uh, Labradoodle. You got a Labradoodle. Are they good? Yeah. Labradoodles are poodle. fucking bonkers, man. Ah, he's, he's about know. 10 now. He's not quite so little. They're fucking insane. They're like, they're, they're mean... he, he bounces. He does bounce a lot. They're like the kind of dogs that if you have a rich dog, if you're, like, if you're rich, you call it eccentric. You know what I mean? I mean, they're fucking mad. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Labrad- it's half a poodle hey, and half a Labrador. Hey, stereot- don't stereotype all Labradoodles. I'm not. I met your crazy. dog before you moved to Australia, man. It was fucking insane. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was a very sweet was, dog. It was like <laughs> 10 years ago, though, to be fair. Yeah, it was, yeah, yeah. Well, it's really calmed down a bit now. Yeah. It hadn't grown into its brain at that point. <laughs> I, thought, I thought the trouble is that the fur grows into the brains with Labradoodles. <laughs> like, is that what they told you now? Yeah, that's, that's what they told yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the internet on the Twitter. <laughs> so, uh, okay. Facebook. So, information super highway. Okay, so um, what the fuck were we doing? Oh yeah, Bondo. Bondo. Yes. Hi, Bondo. What are you up to, dude? Right, okay. Let's talk to him. Is this is this Rachnoid now in a point where I can try and sideswipe him into the uh, cliff wall with um, the horses? Okay. The so yeah, the, the the it's not so much a cliff wall, more like a very steep. But you could try and smash it. However, its legs are over. very spider-like, so it probably will have a lot more purchase. Going up a uh, up an incline like that on, I know what you're trying to do. Um, you can try and smash thing, into it with the horses if you want. Yeah. Yeah, I don't have a giant newspaper to swat it with, so I'm gonna have to go with the car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get a glass and a newspaper and put it outside the window. I, do I prefer to do that. In, in the real world, I like spiders. I protect them and I release like a, them. Like a the massive wild. twenty foot glass and just like yes, <laughs> drop it. Yeah. And they just oh, I've got its legs. Oh no, I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, okay. We haven't got time for that. So yeah, okay, you can smash the horses into it if you want. Um, actually, the yeah. horse's bridling has, like, the crossbeam here has, like, a little edge to it, and you can sort yep. of aim that edge thing and try and smash it. So the oh, horses are going to try and burn her it. Yeah, a little yeah. bit. Burn, <laughs> burn her the shit out of it. Yeah. Okay, okay, let's do this. Yeah, all right. So uh, this is going to be a, huh, a dex plus 20 because you've got you got drive carts, you're, you're specialized, so dex t- check plus 20, and you have oh, luck nice. as well. Yeah. Right, so it's 40 plus 20, that'll be a 60. Pretty please with sugar on top. 93. No, it's crap. That's a, that's uh... a very close to critical <laughs> failure, not very much. Okay, so you, you steer the horses over, but the horses, like, you just mistime it, so the horses actually misinterpret what you're trying to do, and actually sort of pull to the right and then pull to the left again, and they sort of lose their balance a little bit, and they scramble up, and they don't fall over or anything, <coughs> but... They definitely aren't doing what you're trying to I do, missed. and you don't really yeah. like you don't really do anything. The ho- you have to actually it's all you can do to control the horses still, so that maneuver Fair doesn't enough. really work. And this thing gets right next to the horse, and also the horses are freaking out because this spider and goblin is uh, literally next to you. Okay, so it's everybody else's turn. Um, the goblin here Action actually five, jumps, guys. leaps Action onto five. the crossbeam like this, and the spider now tries to attack one of the horses. Um, this one gets close to here. This goblin now leaps as well. I'm gonna make a little, little dex check, for, a little initiative check for the, uh, the old goblin there. Um, okay. Um, so this thing um, leaps uh, and tries to attack. Like tries to do a leaping attack with its spear and misses, but manages to land in the cart. So it just lands here, like. But it doesn't actually get to to stab you. Um, Tom actually misses you, but lands inside the car. And it's holding a two-handed spear, so it's, it's a pretty big thing. The spider here is still racing alongside and is now trying to move up. This spider is now, um, isn't actually, I can't actually attack the horse very well, but it's trying to get to a point where it's in front of the horse, if that makes sense. Uh, Veronica has now uh, landed back on her mount um, and is now firing. Um, she is now firing a bolt at... Um, uh, at uh, you, actually, Bondo. Um, she's going to use her, her magic against you. Um, this the the goblin who's like in a little little Vin Diesel Vin Diesel goblin. Um, I don't know how that would sound. How would a Vin Diesel goblin sound? <laughs> how does Vin Diesel actually sound? I've completely blanked on his voice. Hello. 
No, <laughs> no, I didn't try. I don't think anyone's got anything to add now. I was think. that image so so riveting that you all just like blanked out for a second? I was trying to, I was thinking of the Iron Giant, that movie with Vin Diesel, where he just makes sort of like grunting noises. Um, or Groot, you know, to try he's, he's the voice of the Iron Giant. You're kidding. Don't, don't, I think that's right. Oh, no, that man has right, so right. many talents. Yeah. Doesn't just like like that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's what I was. That's, that was in my head. How much do you think they paid him? Oh, well, probably did it for free. Fucking hell! To be that wealthy, to just do it. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm just, I'm just IMDBing it. Yeah. Vin, by the way, famously taught Judy Dench how to uh, play Dungeons and Dragons on the set. Indeed. Of, uh, yeah. Pitch Black Two. What? Mm, really? really? Dragons Geek. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is the fans of Dragons Geek, just like us. He's one oh, of our. Man. I've always liked that man. And she's she, and she taught her why. grandkids, doesn't she? And and stuff now, and still well, plays with them. She, so wait, Judy Dench so plays... back up a second. Oh. Judy, Judy Dench plays Dungeons and Dragons. Or is that just? Yes. Yeah. She pl- oh, still man. plays. Like she has a group. I've that that is like my ultimate bucket list thing now. To Would play it be Dungeons weird to beat you guys and actually try and like play with her instead? No, no, you go for You'd it. Be okay. Yeah. With that. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's not like spread your it's wings not like and it'd fly. be better. It'd just be different. I'm just trying to be it'd clear be, about it'd, 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 it'd be better. Um, <laughs> okay. Wow. I want, I want Judy Dench, thing. Patrick okay. Stewart, and Ian McKellen playing Dungeons. Oh my Dungeons god, would that be amazing? Now. Patrick Stewart, Ian McKellen, and Judy fucking Dench. That Sorry, would be awesome. and, Vin, and Vin Diesel. And Vin Diesel like great, and me. They're all great you actors. Or yeah. <laughs> I would be like. I roll. I want to roll for initiative. I'd be like, I'd have, myself, scared, set, I'd have myself set in amber. Oh my god! After so that, yeah, yeah, you just coat yourself in amber and just freeze the moment. Yeah, exactly. Then also, there's like a serial killery thing, so you probably shouldn't do that again. Oh, sorry, I wouldn't coat everybody else at the gaming table in amber. That would be. Oh, I sorry. <laughs> no, no, just my me. interpretation. Of it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, moving forward. So where were we? Uh, <laughs> so in the, in the Diesel Goblin. Yeah, so the Vin Diesel. Vin Diesel Goblin. <laughs> Why do I think there's somebody in my house? Hang on. Oh. oh no, it's fireworks. Oh, it is. No, it's okay. I have Ghost a katana Diesel. lying by, so no. It's okay. Um, so, what? <laughs> so, <laughs> so, some Vin Diesel, Vin Diesel goblin also jumps on the barrels. <laughs> also jumps on the barrels. Hang on, what, what was he running away? Because I no, blasted. No, 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 he's getting his bow, which he's now not going to use, because he's an idiot. All right. Okay, all right. I forgot <laughs> okay. he had a bow right. hand, so I'm just going to change right. the, the narrative. And saying he's jumping in the fucking cart because I didn't think this one through. All right, he's going to jump on the cart as well. Um, he's got a little like short sword and his bow as well. Um, and he's not going to be able to attack because he spent his whole round charging. Uh, Veronica is now going to fire. She takes out her um, her very long staff, um, which she's across her back, and she starts whipping up an incantation, literally whipping the air around her and drawing forth um, all this strange kind of. All of your heads, you don't like get a headache or anything, but it's almost like looking into a very bright light suddenly. All your eyes, your head sort of winces, all of you. Uh, even the ones that aren't looking in her direction, you sort of get this weird, like almost like a lemony, zesty feeling in your brain, which causes e. you to go, Ugh, like, like a sharp, weird, not painful, but weird sensation in your brain. And she fires out this bolt. Um, can you please make a, another dex plus 20 ride, uh, sorry, drive cart test, uh, Bondo? <laughs> Mike away from the computer. Good Did time. Someone... Let me just talk yeah. About... All right. Why don't you just all talk amongst yourselves for a while? Do, 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 do. Happy birthday, Pete. Oh, we did that. Okay. Oh, yeah. um, <laughs> thank you. All right. I'm going to come back to this because I had something planned, but fuck it. Well, why not spoil the surprise? All right. So, um, okay. So, we're going to skip over. <gasps> a birthday moment. surprise? Yeah. No, 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 no. There's no surprise. Um, oh. Okay. So, this goblin is going to attack. Uh, so the spider is going to attack, try and attack one of the horses um, next go. And this, this goblin is now facing you, um, uh, Bondo. So this goblin is literally now facing you. It's standing on the crossbeam. It has a spear on, on it in its arms. It's trying to keep its balance, though, so it's not doing too well. Um, but it's managing to stay more or less upright. And it's going to give you a little stab with its spear. Um, however, it's not necessarily going to do that well because it is standing Just on the Just a little stab. Yeah, just a so little, just a quick little jab in the ribs. Like, kind of like when, just a tip. Kind of like when, sh- just a tip. <laughs> Jesus. All right, so yeah, just a tip, dude. So it's just gonna like nudge you a little bit, and actually, it, it its balance is really affected, and it sort of scoots left and right, and it manages to miss you, um, and you sort of dodge out of the way. You sort of do a little bum shuffle out of the way, and the the, the just the tip of the pit of the sorry, 
Oh, it's a penis. The tip of the spear misses you Neil! and goes up. Well, Jesus, you guys are like, doing I'm this in your too, mind. Right? But you're putting it in there. I think it's like it's like Darren Brown's. Like you're just suggesting things and putting them in my brain. And I'm saying them. Awful. Darren, Darren. Fuck. Okay, you, so you are awful. I am awful today. This is not good. So anyway, so um, come on, Neil. Fuck it. So uh, the the spear misses you and digs a little like n uh, a little notch into the wood uh, next to the, on the seat next to you. Um, but misses you, thankfully. But it's staring at you and, and is sort of just like uh, trying to stab you. Um, yeah. So that so many times. <laughs> I think you've got your point across. There you go. Uh, there's a pun there for you. Um, this other spied like rachnoid is now trying to get its uh, legs on top of the uh, on top of the um, cart here as well. So it's like little legs like this. Like that. Um, I guess it is a new ground. Unless Jim is back and then we can do the thing that I wanted to do this turn. <laughs> okay, it's world's right. slowest magic spell. Is it just like slowly kind of traveling through the air? Through yeah. Slow <laughs> motion. Uh, yeah. How is? Yeah, let's say from, that. Right, from from a from a game mechanic perspective, Neil, how is she cast two spells in one turn? It's not. We're going to say that she's like she's like this. Will, oh, th there's a reason for that actually. But um, <laughs> but let's say that this I'm spell is. Yeah, let's say that this spell is like powering up and she's sort of doing it in the air. So it's not going to release until next turn, which should hopefully Back. give the Jim enough time. Um, all right, folks. So, um, uh, new round. Uh, it is your turn, I believe, little little boy. Little, these, <laughs> little boy. Little these, these, these goppos have got, have, have got very close very quickly. Yeah, they have. They've, they've been they're, they're of, actually, of slinging. They're at least as fast as your horse. They've been on a parallel, uh, sorry, diagonal parallel tra trajectory, and they are probably faster than your horses because they're, you know, obviously they're not drawing a cart. So they're pretty rapid things, these things, yeah. So there's two, there's two of them on the cart with us now, right? There's so. one, there's two goblins in the cart. There's one spider trying to climb the side of the cart. Another spider seemingly is going to do the same. There's one spider at the front here, and then where there, Veronica on her bigger spider is still flying in the air on a parabolic arc about to land in her sandal saddle and she's casting a one-armed spell in the air with her staff she's fucking badass she's really cool sorry that was an internal thought that i externalized but yeah she's really <laughs> really really good all right she's so, doing her big she's doing her big bad thing very well yeah man she's mm -hmm. been a big bad longer than i thought she'd be around but that's good all right so uh what are you gonna do teddy shake with fear um, well no, no, no. I'm, I'm not scared. I'm going to protect myself as usual and pull out my, my little daggers and try and take on one of these goblins. Okay, cool. You can do that. Uh, Unfortunately, roll your dad, sir. Roll your dad. weapon skill is not my forte in this. That is a critical Ooh, hit. Zero four. Still managed to hit. That's a yes. critical hit, sir. That's double damage. So zero one, zero five, regardless of any modifier is a critical hit which doubles your damage or makes whatever you're trying to do the coolest thing you've ever seen in the same way that a 95 or 6 to 100 depending on whether anybody's paying attention uh, will be a critical failure and very very bad things will happen <laughs> so that is you get to double your damage sir so whatever your damn you roll 2d6 and then plus oh, your strength on, if you roll, get a critical on either roll uh, which is a natural six you then can roll that again so that's no, two. Um, seven plus my strength of three. And then roll again for your, the second d6. No, I did the, the five up here. Oh, the okay. first one. Five, six, seven. That's ten points of damage, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Okay, very nice. Okay, you can tell me. You, you totally dispatched this goblin. It, it basically does the Vin Diesel thing and lands. It's like, ah, or whatever Vin Diesel says. What's Vin Diesel's catchphrase? I, I guess it's not, ah. Yeah, it's Ah. Okay, it's, okay. <laughs> there's a, a moment before you stab it, we go, oh my, is that Vin Diesel? <laughs> and then you stab it. Hang on, I thought it was, I am Groot. Oh, uh, not really. I guess that's like a trademark thing. We can't probably say that. Let's just go with yeah, ah, um, Vin Diesel yeah. says, oh, yeah, right. if, right. if you buy a Vin Diesel uh, doll, and <laughs> all it does is go, ah, oh, like okay. <laughs> so you've, heard, you've heard it here, folks. Regardless of what you've heard in the movies, Vin Diesel's actual trademark signature is, <laughs> without the subconscious <laughs> laugh okay good so you stab it you so stab i'm just gonna right no, i'm not gonna stab it, I stab it. I'm, I'm gonna hit it with a hilt and on, onto his um head just to stun him and then kick him under under the cart so nice. he goes okay. does, a, does a nice little helm scream as he falls off the uh, ah! of the cart and then goes <laughs> under the wheels 
All right, cool. So he smashes into barrel. Barrel goes flying in typical Michael Bay unnecessary fashion, and he just goes ah, yeah, and then falls off the side of the car and goes. Even though he's falling out this way, physics warps and he actually falls into the car's wheels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah, he just yeah, gets trampled. And I put some spin on him as he falls down. There we go. You put some spin on the goblin. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Good to get carried away. All right, so you put like some spin on the goblin. Bowler. Yeah, okay, so you take uh, the goblin is out of here. Ooh, yeah. Get off my car, you little shit. Thank you for being so fucking London about the whole thing as well. Um, Get off my car. You're welcome. Yeah. Get, Get off, off my car. car. No, you should turn around Get to everybody and just say, <laughs> you just t- should turn around to everybody and say, no ticket. Oh, I'm going to do that. <laughs> I'm going to do that one as well. <laughs> Sorry, mate. I just, I thought I'd What was that from? Indiana that Jones, from? dude. Was it? Oh, no, yeah. Was... Yeah, that's right. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Punch out the fucking Zeppelin. Yeah. To be, to be fair, I, I was doing the one from. Oh, what's the Jay and Silent Bob? The good um, Dogma. He does the same thing. That's the only line that he says in that film. No idea. Is it? Oh yeah, Dogma. But okay, moving forward, dude. Let's go forward. So he t- he tosses someone off the train and says no ticket. To, to, That's yeah. right. He's doing yeah. an homage of Indiana Jones. Yes. Cool. Yes. Yes. All right. So uh, you do that. That's very cool. Uh, next up is uh, Zygmunt. Having been thwarted by Veronica's incredibly cool maneuver, you can make Cursive. a you can make a ride test and like turn on a dime to like oh, yes, pull let's back do that. if you want. Uh, you are very pro- highly proficient. If I um if I if I <coughs> yeah, we're gonna make a horrible mistake. Here we go. You get Rolling plus twenty out. to your dex, sir. Fifty nine. Fifty nine. I yeah, I've got a problem tonight. I keep needing my dice back. It was fifty nine. So what's my what what's it? Did you say dex? Yeah. Check. Plus or initi- no, it's initiative test. Initiative. It's Which, initiative for uh, horse riding, yeah. Initiative. Okay, what was it? What was it? Plus, sorry, plus I twenty. That bit. Uh, no, it's fifty-six. I needed, and I got fifty-nine. Um, you don't have anything. You haven't got any luck. I've got animal you. care. No, no, animal care is not going to help. Heraldry. <laughs> heraldry. <laughs> I whisper into the horse's ear. Heraldry. Leviticus, Leviticus do it for me. Yeah. <laughs> That's not what heraldry is. <laughs> heraldry is about like coats of arms and shit. You can whisper in your horse's ear. Shit, did, you, you? did you know? I, I, did you I'm know gonna, that gonna, the Oldenheimer's uh, the Oldenheimer's badge is actually made up of two different symbols? It's not going to help you turn a fucking. What you don't horse know is Vitek. This is incredibly proud. I'm going to whisper the names of all of his sires going back generations who are looking at him down from horsey heaven. And if he's making a balls up, they're all going to be very cross with him. I'm not giving you plus ten for that. Uh, damn, okay. <laughs> Okay, so less less than um, on a dime. Yeah, basically, you sort of you sort of try and turn him, and he just turns longer than you'd like to. But then you sort of manage to right him, and you're now chasing Veronica. Uh, I'm changing. I'm changing changing the signal from the left to the right, so everybody knows. Cool. So your little indicator (laughs) pops out. (laughs) <laughs> so your little I really want this to be a thing now. So your little <laughs> horse indicator. I think you actually have this. This is canon now. I, I wish for when I was in yeah. when I was in town so people would know which way I'm turning it like crossroads right. and stuff. I definitely right. would have that. Okay. So now you have a little horse indicator still. So your horse is now like charging towards uh, where Veronica is. And she's still swirling. Okay. She's landing now basically in the spider, swirling this uh, this spell. Um, which is now gathering up so much power, it looks like it's about to, like, it looks like it can't even be contained anymore. Um, oh, God, the cart's, now the cart's going to explode. Okay. okay, so next up Stop is... Stop giving Neil ideas. Radigan, hi. <laughs> hi all. What's in the barrels, guys? That was the clue. What's in the barrels? I just wanted to say, I just wanted to say that Hidden Heroin has done a new picture of Radigan with, with, the, fe- uh, with the ferrets on her uh, Instagram. Oh. Oh, good. As we've been doing oh. this live, wow. Yeah, I guess so. That's amazing. Uh, that's so we'll have to we'll, we'll share it also on our our pages as okay. well. So that's pretty awesome. Right. That yeah, awesome. really awesome. Cool. Okay, um, so back to the action, sir. So I am going to. There's one more goblin on this car, isn't there? Yeah. So uh, you just saw actually out of the corner of your eye, Teddy. Um, smash a goblin that looks surprisingly like Vin Diesel <laughs> and just like yes. smacks him on the front of the nose um, with his with the hilt of his of his short sword then kicks him off uh, and then turns to you and just goes no ticket which a reference you just don't get you don't understand what it means <laughs> yeah. you have no idea what a ticket is why I got no idea one. what a guitar even have I killed you all hello <laughs> Oh, oh no! no. Well, yeah, that was I just, 
Audi- we'll audio died for a second. Didn't yeah, it? audio died. Okay. Mm. Um, so, so what do you say, Tom? Um, I'm going to spin around with my magical staff, which is just a t- tree branch. Um, <laughs> <laughs> All right. You're, yeah, you have a tree branch that you call a staff in, to keep up appearances. <laughs> yeah. You know, I, like it. The cult, then. yeah. I literally even just pulled it off a tree. It's terrible. Oh. It, it didn't even fall naturally. I just realized I needed it. And um, <laughs> but, like, it's a green greenery on it. It's it's terrible. All right. Um, so I, I'm going to spin around and um, baseball bat this goblin that's behind me um, yeah. with my magical staff. All right, do it. Right in the fizzog. Um, so I'm going to roll uh, for, yeah, I'm going to roll <laughs> weapon skill, right? Yep, so weapon skill. Oh, Whoa! three critical. Yeah! Hit. Second critical? <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh, All right, that's a critical, critical hit. Back is taping. <laughs> no, it was teetering as well, so that was very suspenseful. I'm not a gambling man, but wow, that was pretty close. All right, so 2d6, and if either of them land on a six, that's a critical, that again, like a critical damage, you get to keep rolling sixes, basically. That, that's so, a d3, isn't it? Where's yeah. another d6? Yellow's a d6 here, and I can just d6 double it for you. Same time. Yeah, okay. So, hit him. I like these rolls. Pretty low, so that's five Ooh. plus your strength. Five, which is four, so You've got nine. you strength, haven't you? Yeah. Okay, so that's nine, plus anything else yeah. you need to know about? Nah, okay. that's it. That's gonna do it, actually. For goblins, a pretty, pretty, pretty weak thing. So that is gonna, that's gonna kill it, or at least like put it onto a minus one. How do you wanna dispatch said goblin, sir? Um. So yeah, I I clock him directly in the head, and he kind of just pinwheels off into space. <laughs> Like, uh, <laughs> into space nice. yeah. it destroys gravity <laughs> like that and then i turn around to um teddy and i go neither did it neither did he doesn't quite have the comic timing we were hoping for because it took us 20 minutes to talk about I know. the mechanics of it <laughs> but i appreciate that you just imagine like if you condense the moment down if you squash the moment down Basically, we just clock them one after the other off the side of the car. And then, yeah, no <laughs> ticket. <laughs> yeah, that nice. was it. <laughs> nice. All right. So, uh, so you, you pinwheel this uh, this poor little hapless goblin out of the way. Um, uh, these spiders are now like clambering on board. So this thing's now on board. This thing's now attaching itself to the side. Yes. These things are a lot bigger than goblins. I'm just going to say that out loud. Um, so these things are a lot bigger. So they've got tickets, is what you're saying? They've, <laughs> they've definitely got tickets and then some. Um, so they're going to punch <laughs> your tickets. Uh, there you go. Uh, okay, ah. so uh, back to Veronica. Veronica actually fires off this, this spell that she's been casting. And it, it lobs, she lobs this enormous, like, it's almost like a, it's almost like a, like a, a ho- like a hoogie, like a, like a phlegm, like a goblin, like a, sorry, like a purple and green, like, phlegmy. Rolly. Yeah, it's pretty horrible. Like this, like phlegmy sort of globulate of colour, uh, which just um, starts spinning around, almost like a comet, I guess, um, and firing straight towards uh, the carriage. Uh, can everybody please make a willpower test as it descends and hits the the main carriage? So oh, not Steve, everybody else. So Bondo. Yay. Ratty and also Teddy, please. Oh, nice. Come on, guys. I was going to roll this dash. That's a pass. Bitch. Nine. And mine, That's look, a... they're red. Yep. What do you mean? <laughs> uh, yeah, oh, I passed it. Yeah. I passed it. Anyway. Yeah. 33 nice. is a pass. You all passed, right? We all passed. Yeah. Amazing. Hmm. Cool. All right. So, uh, so you all passed. This, this thing. What actually happens, although you, you all pass, what actually happens is, as this globulate is about to literally explode, you remember those, like, as you were, we were kids, like, those TV shows that would have, like, a gunk tank? Yeah. Remember, like, a gunk uh, tank? Like, filled with highly poisonous chemicals that would subject, like, young kids in, in the sake of comedy and humour to be gunked by these things. 
like they de- probably developed cancer like 30 years later or something like that it's like really horrible nasty like chemical shit well it's like Whoa. that it's like being <laughs> dunked right that's really dark well, that's considering true, in our childhood what could have happened to you on a ch- children's show that's not the worst that could have oh, happened oh man fucking <laughs> children's shows they were just like the worst <laughs> like, now then now then great <laughs> content but fucking hell I mean, you don't want to if you're a kid you like your parents turn around and go do you want to go to children's shows tonight? you're like fuck that <laughs> like, what did you say me yeah. I'm going to stick to extreme him? sports Ew. instead. <laughs> yeah, fuck that. So, okay, so this gobbler, um actually comes down. As it as it about to hit the entire carriage, um, something weird, super weird happens, more weirder than the situation, I guess, um, that the other ferret, the other yet un, uh, un, uh, at the moment not named ferret, um, jumps from your shoulder <laughs> and goes straight up to your head and, uh, and digs his hands into his little paws, into... The front and the back of your scalp, uh, Ratty. Uh, yeah. And then he just like coughs, but it's not really a cough. It's more like we well, actually not a cough. More like a more like he sings a note, like it's. Ah! I, don't, I really don't know how ferrets sound when they sing. That's how ferrets sing, definitely. Oh, yeah. Do that again. <laughs> They're a bit like whales. They're famous. They're famous. Like whales. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Like that. <laughs> you want me to do a fucking whale song? I'll do a fucking whale song if it entertains you. Fuck it, why not? Can you do a manatee? <laughs> oh, the humanity. I'll, 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 <laughs> I'll name that song in three. Uh, okay. Name that song in three. <laughs> so, so that is now how ferrets sing in my world. I'm so happy you've uh, done that. Good. Calls. Okay, so what? now he just goes. Why is Ferris saying it? Like that. And, and out of his mouth. <laughs> to ask the why question. <laughs> <laughs> and Tom, um, as, as, your yeah. whole, as he does this, like this other light, this like blue, fantastical white light bursts in this huge, low, like cloud. And that forms itself into like a half shell above all of your heads. And the globulet Whoa. hits the shell. And then just slides off the shell. So if the shell is like a concentric circle, I guess like like this around you, like that, it sort of slides off the front of the shell, and it doesn't affect any of you. Um, and instead, what happens is the globulets actually hit both horses um, square on, and actually start oh, like no, the penguins. leeching themselves mm. onto the, ho- the horses like this. And weirdly, the horses are still running full tilt, but they are screaming. And they're screaming it oh, in what can only be described as like pure agony. Um, it's really horrific, actually. Oh. Um, can everybody make a cool test, please? Because this That's is like cool. you're seeing these like things change and be deformed and all kinds of stuff. That's not cool at all. See, ferrets oh, could... are cute, are they? Fucking dangerous creatures they can be. You said we could have got mutations. Oh, I'm not sure what my other oh, yeah. dice is that. That's a critical oh, failure. Oh, no. Zero, zero, zero. Yep, that's a critical failure. Whoever rolled that. Uh, Me. That's a failure as well. Pete, so you. I failed. I failed. All right, so I'm all of you failed. So all of you. I haven't rolled yet, honestly. Do I need to roll? Yeah, you're, you're, I think you're a bit preoccupied, to be honest, dude. So I don't think you're going to. Fo- you can see what's happening, but you're not as close. You're a bit more focused Fine. on Veronica like that. So you see. I've got a phobia of necrotizing you. horses now. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Um, so <laughs> everybody in the cart that failed, please take an insanity point. Um, oh, and you've just yeah. seen something that has like damaged like the realms of perception, not in a good way. Um, like you've just seen, like you're on a trip or something, I guess. Um, not that I'm advocating that kind of behaviour. But anyway, so you, you see something that warps like the very reality of 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 your reality, and it really just affects all of you. So all of you have an insanity point from seeing this, um, but you're you're unaffected apart from that. But you get an insanity point. Um, these it, things are still changing, but they are still weirdly like. It's weird. It's almost like the pain is now accelerating them even further, and they're galloping. But in, as opposed to galloping like a horse, the movement now feels like the whole cart is now bobbing up and down, in a, in like an oscillator. As opposed to left and right, it's more like it's like a it's more like going up and down, almost like a wave now. And these things are still pulling the cart along. It's really weird. Sorry, anybody have a question? <laughs> <laughs> Their legs kind of like distorting and kind of growing into weird different shapes. There. A little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, They're man. gestalting into, pe- into one Pegasus, is my thoughts on this one. 
Yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> yeah, I'm always hopeful. I know. They're going to be a unicorn. Remember Norse Hall, the bait legs? Sure. Slipnir. That's it. They're turning to Slipnir. <laughs> oh, tell you yeah. All right, so um, where are we up to? Uh, that is Veronica's round. I believe now the spiders have a go. So the spiders have clambered on board and are now rushing in to attack you. Um, so they're both, one of them sort of like going round to attack Teddy. Um, the other one's attacking uh, Tom's character. Um, this goblin here is going to have another pop at Bondo. Oh, actually, the goblin gets hit as well. What am I talking about? So the goblin is also now like um, enveloped in this like weird goo and like weird stuff, and is now thrashing around. It's now kind of like stuck to the bridling, so you're no longer like in 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 danger of it, but it's now like turned into this gooey mush and is just like screeching and screaming, having dropped its spear. Um, Veronica has now landed back on her arachnoid, and she's now um, sort of like passing parallel. The opposite, opposite direction to the to the cart. Um, I guess this thing is now also kind of like clambering up here as well as like turning back round as if to, to jump into the cart as well. Um, I guess it's a new round now, folks. So I had a go yet? Bondo, you can have a go. Sorry. <laughs> right. <laughs> do I get a free hit on the goblin encased in God knows what? <coughs> you can do if you want to. If you really yeah. want to. Yeah. <laughs> You're asking a gnome if he wants to hit a goblin. Well, hmm. Yeah, yeah I uh, guess you have, you have hatred against goblin noise and stuff, don't you? What? That's a hit, sir. It's a big hit. Nice. Yeah, so d6. d6. Three. Three. Plus the strength. My strength of two. So <laughs> you, you I'm a pharmacist. You yeah. basically chop into this. <laughs> you you basically chop hit him in with the pestilent water. <laughs> you basically yeah, you hit him with the pestilent water. <laughs> you basically, you basically so grind his prescription. <laughs> yeah, you give, you give him a really like a really heavy dose of medicine. There you go. You're welcome. Um, give him non drowsy antihistamines instead of drowsy ones for his children. <laughs> <laughs> That'll learn him. Only the one pharmacist in the audience is going to get that one. Yeah, that was a joke. Hey guys, it's fine. I'm, I'm yeah. <laughs> All right, so you smash into this mushy, this mush that once was a goblin. I'm going to say his name was Ted, Ted the Goblin. And you smash into hey. this mush, and he just like ripples into two. And now there's two bits of mush, like one here and one there. Um, that's kind of all that, that attack did. But it made Ooh. you feel, you know what? It made you feel really big. So yeah. <laughs> that happens. Okay. You feel pretty good about yourself. For doing that. Job done. Job done. Um, oh, do you have another ticket joke? Sorry, Jim. Do you have another ticket joke? Just, just checking. Ticket joke? No, no. I'm just gonna say he had to split. Uh, <laughs> 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 we really needed like a clashing symbol. Oh no! Um, so back to whatever the fuck we were doing. Yeah. So new round. So Ratty Teddy. and Ziggy and Teddy. Teddy is your go. Teddy, we passed just go. Yes. So, these giant spiders are pretty scary, right? Yeah, pretty scary. Uh, what do we do here, guys? This is... Giant spiders tend to be scary. It's just the rule, you know. They're arachnoids. The less it's like a humanoid, the more uh, people don't. Yeah. Humanoids don't like them. It's simple. Oh, you're right. They're, they're, they're arachnoids, aren't they? Not spiders. Don't be scared of them. By the way, uh, uh, Rocco Gnocchi. Rocco Niocchi on Instagram has done us an amazing picture of arachnoid. Really? Um, yeah, it's looking good. I will. Um, we'll share that again later as yeah. well. Yeah, definitely. Share amazing. Who's done that? Sorry, I missed that. <laughs> Rocco Niocchi. Uh, Rock on Loki. Uh, I think it is. Mate. Rock on Loki. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. So um, the suspense is killing me, as it might be for everybody. I'm rocking. <laughs> Pete, do you want to do? Can you move your hand there, Pete? Sir? Oh, okay. Thank you. Uh, well, don't be, don't be shy about your character, man. We like character. Don't be shy. No, no, no. no. I'm just narratively trying to find something to to do. I'm, I'm not a combatant very well. All right. We're just gonna just gonna defend myself as best I can against this spy. Okay. Doing some defensive slashes with my short sword, Try and keeping Try it at bay. Again, that worked last time really well. No, yeah, when, if I wasn't on a moving car, yes. Uh, no, that's a miss. All right. So you sort of try and grapple with it, but you're, you, you're a bit timid now because it's a bit close and personal. 
and it's not really the size of goblin it's like double your size and you sort of try and hit it but you just you don't quite make impact uh and it sort of rears back and goes <laughs> like that and it scares the bejesus out of you so you sort of back yeah <laughs> like that get the back <laughs> fuck away from me you fucking can excuse my language so Sorry, fucking that right. wow. Teddy, jesus what's your mouth now teddy <laughs> <laughs> Get out of it, you wreck noise! <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Just, uh, I'm going with that one. Um, okay, <laughs> so Teddy, it's your... Sorry, Teddy, well done. Uh, uh, Ziggy, it's now your turn. You're hot in pursuit of Veronica. You actually see these, like, weird amorphous masses and this weird magic. I mean, you don't know moment... You're just a simple combat the soldiery boy. You don't know much about magic and whatnot, sir. But these things are definitely, uh, like, this is definitely perverse and uh, abnormal. Um, and just weird and chaotic and horrible. However, they are starting to take sh shape now. And you see, like, black fur emerging from either side of this, like, gloopy... Like, the gloop is, like, becoming more congealed, almost like a hard crust, like, uh, on top of a wound, like, you know, a scab on top of a wound. And you see underneath it, like, this head, sort of half a head just bursts out a little bit, and this black fur sort of sticks out, and these things, uh, and this sort of, like... Yeah, that's what you see so far, and it, the legs are sort of like pounding against the um, the scabs around the legs, and one of them starting to push through now. And you see a bit of black fur emerging from here as well. So whatever yeah. these things are becoming, it's like they're definitely becoming something. It's quite strange. Yeah. Yuck. Yuck um, indeed. Okay. Well, can I get to <coughs> not to sort of two sort of one track mindish, but can I get to Veronica? She's outpacing her. Her her Rachnoid is moving pretty quickly. It has to be said. Not faster than Leviticus, surely. Well, <laughs> what is Leviticus' like movement? Um, what is a horse's uh, movement? It's pretty fast. Eight. Eight. Um, at the moment, no, but it's definitely starting to pull away from you. So you're going to have to re you're okay. have to make a ride skill to push poor Leviticus, who's days away from retirement. He nearly finishes comic collection. He's like, he's like Officer Murta. He's, he's like, basically <laughs> Murta. Your, your yeah, horse is basically Officer Murta from Lethal it, Weapon. I'm, not cool I'm getting to too over this okay. shit. <laughs> yeah, basically like that. <laughs> <laughs> basically like that. Yeah. Oh, but Leviticus um, means right. Murta in Old World <laughs> classical language. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Fine. Um, well, I yeah. I mean, I'm a bit single-minded about it, but yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and um, give Leviticus his head and try and uh, catch up with uh, Veronica because obviously her foul magics need to. Need stop. to answer. Yeah. Okay. So maybe yeah. ride test. It's initiative plus twenty. Initiative plus twenty. Yeah. Okay. Okay. There you go. I'm rolling these ones down here. 43, yes. That's a success. Yes. Okay. So yes. you, yes. whatever it is, whatever sweet nothings you whisper into your trusty nag's ear, um, what are your you sweet will nothings? Be cat you, food. Your, huh? you will be cat food. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, my friend. If you don't hurry up, you'll be cat food, yeah? <laughs> Bockfest, yeah? What's that? <laughs> hurry the fuck up. <laughs> is that what you say to your horse? I'm just, I'm sorry. No, it's not. That's twisted. No, I'm just, I'm, just whispering, I'm just whispering the names of his forebears into his ear to, you know, give him pride. <laughs> all, all his grandparents are named after books of the Bible as well, so he's a bit puzzled. One's called Numbers, which is a bit strange. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, it's Psalm, I'm like it's Psalms one, Psalms two, Psalms three. Psalms so five. Anyway. <laughs> okay. So anyway, like, this time it's personal. <laughs> it, it kind of sounds to any, but by the way you know that you're doing this but anybody that's like not really aware of like this thing that you have with your horse kind of thinks that you're whispering swift not, sweet nothings to it i'm just going to go out on a limb and say that okay um yeah. so you say this and it does do it does provoke leviticus into into action and it feels very dynamic and it launches itself forward with a burst of speed um can you please make a um intelligence test plus 10 for animal handling i'm going to be right back folks be right back Gosh, I don't know what to do now. I've got the floor. Roll, 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 the roll, 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 roll it until you're happy with the roll. Yeah. Okay, that's a good plan. That's a good plan. I like that plan. So I need say intelligence plus 10, so I need 41. So. Oh, oh dear. We don't have to tell Neil that happened. 
I saw it. I fucking saw it. I saw it. I saw it. I wasn't leaving the house. I didn't say nothing, man. I rolled that dice. I wasn't leaving the house, man. I was just going to close the door. I literally wasn't. It's not like I said, I'm stepping away. It's not like I'm stepping out of the area or like, I'm getting in my car now, folks. Just hang on a second. 99 is a critical failure. to to against the evil villains but you came back too soon i know i, I heard everything because i also took my fucking mobile headphones as well um so, <laughs> so that's critical to, okay good news for you this was one of those roles that it's kind of like if you're going to get a critical failure it, this is the role to get this on okay so so in your mind leviticus is like has almost like gained the strength of his forebearers and it's just pounding it's like the, the ground its head it feels like its head is being lofted up and it starts to neigh like, like that as if it's like charging for its worth it feels it feels like it's been rejuvenated by this exertion it could probably carry running on for days and in fact you probably should keep pushing it further um because you know that your horse can take it is what that okay. role tells you. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. All right. Shall um, I start sending the invites out? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll make a quiche. Um, <laughs> right. So, so here's the thing, folks, who are listening in. My, I know, I trust my friends very well. That there is a difference between, as we know, what the players know and what the characters know. And the good role play, good storytelling, which is a collaborative experience still, <laughs> is going with what the characters know first. Because we all know what that role was, and we just know what I said. So, you do the math. Spurred on, spurred on by, my, by this knowledge, I'll stand up in the saddle um, and sort of like oh, search surf board sideways on so I can get a better strike, because I'm confident in my horse's stamina and ability to maintain this pace. Yeah, going, yeah, Leviticus, yeah! <laughs> Schnell! <laughs> I feel like Daniel Day-Lewis in Last of the Mohicans. Nice. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. All right, all right, so that's what you're doing. You're going to take an attack as well. Can I Can I do all that in one round? That's That seems like a bonus round. Um, okay, cool. Well, I... Yeah, because you're actually doing yeah. a charge. Yeah, I'd okay. say you can. Right. Yeah, yeah. All right, well, I'm rolling these dice before you take your, and cleanse your mind. Yeah, baby. Hey. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Seven. So who am I? Am I hit, does that mean I hit Veronica again? Um, I'm going to force you, because she's moving around a lot, um, she actually flips, she actually flips into, uh, in the saddle and turns directly facing you and holding her staff up. So she's actually sort of engaging in melee combat. So you can attack cool. her directly, that's fine, yeah, I can see that. So I can hit her. All right, okay, I'm going to roll this six. Sorry. Oh! oh. Ooh, right, yeah. okay. Okay, oh, Veronica. I'm going to try this day. again, see if we get the critical. No, no critical. Oh, so you nearly, get six, which nearly. is... So you rolled weapon skill, you didn't get the critical, that's fine. So six plus your strength. So it's four and strike mighty blows, five. And d does the spider sword give me plus one? Yes, it does. So that's uh, 12 then. Okay. Ooh. So To a head, because it's an 11. So. 12 to a head, okay. So you sort of arc up and slice to towards her. As you do so, you just see her just twist away with her shoulder, like her left shoulder twisting back at this weird angle. And she just... She, like almost like a ballet dancer she pushes her head back and the sword just goes ever so slightly across her and just cuts a very th thin uh, like uh, a very fine line across one of her uh, over her right cheek as her head turns away at the last second and she somehow at the last second manages to dodge the blow um which is pretty amazing she, and she's so nimble she's so nimble um she has dodge blows a skill so she, she managed to it. yeah she dodged yeah. blow yeah she actually rolled i rolled under her initiative um that was a fair a fair roll and she dodged your blow yeah but she's now also when she sort of comes back up she has this smile on her face but you notice it's like faltering and she sort of like digs very sharply into with her right her right leg and the the arachnoid suddenly leaps away in the, in the other direction changing much faster than your horse can can turn because it's obviously it just changes like the directions of its fall. Um, no, this, this thing moves like a spider. It doesn't really move like a horse, right? So it just abruptly changes direction. Immediately starts bolting away up the hill. Um, and you can fine. I'll push, my, I'll push my horse even harder up the hill. Okay, it's not cool. Foreign. All right, cool. So uh, can you read out the the first like 
like a few stats of the horse, please, just so I have an understanding of it. So he's got weapon skill 33, ballistic skill 0, strength 2, toughness 3, okay. wounds 5. <clears throat> All right, so you push you push the Viticus hard, and he's like, yeah, come on. And you're already sort of in battle sense and mode. You, as you dig your like heels into the Viticus side, as you've done for so many years with such familiarity, the horse just buckles. And it just hits the deck. Its front legs just buck underneath it. You hear this <gasps> from the horse's mouth, and it just hits the ground hard. Please make an initiative test. Uh, but I'll give you, you got rides so a plus 20 to that. Okay, initiative test. Is this to see if I fall on my ass? Uh, it's, no, this is to see if you can keep your ground, if you can keep your feet, or at least go into like a roll as you hit the deck. No, uh, that's a huge pass, yeah. So the video just goes barrels straight into the ground. It's like almost like shoulder first and just like flips over. You jump oh, off its no, back. No. You jump off its back and uh, you manage to like land on your feet. <coughs> and um, Leviticus is just lying there. Just like, <gasps> and just like it, it comes, tries to stand up again. Its feet wobbles and then it just like collapses back down again. And it's just lying on the ground, um, oh, gasping for breath. Um, okay, I'm going to leave you there for the second um, and go back to the cart is now slowing down substantially, Bondo. You notice not only the mm -hmm. weight of these two enormous rachnoids, but also like the legs of, of these of these poor horses are now starting to change as well. So uh, whatever's happening to them is now actually like, affecting the fact he can't actually move. So these things are now stopping and changing as well and are now um, slowing down the cart substantially. And so much so actually that this spider sort of like overshoots it by some margin. And, and go this way. Um, these two spiders are still attacking. However, it's um, I believe it's Ratty's go now, right? Isn't it? It yeah. is indeed. Ratty's go. Cool. Um. So. Weaving spells. The only spell I've got of any use right now is Butterfingers, and I don't think spiders are carrying any weapons. Are the spiders carrying any weapons? <laughs> <laughs> are you seriously asking me how spiders really carry weapons? You've got prison shiv, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Have you Shout not even seen the brush. chapter art I've been posting on Instagram? Do you think those rachnoid things can carry weapons? Maybe like a lollipop in their mouth, I guess? But not Yeah, weapons. they can have something in their mouth. Like a yeah, you know, like a what? A, a flail? Musket? A musket? <laughs> yeah. You know what, Tom? <laughs> Fuck it. They got they got loaded muskets in their mouths, yeah. and they know how to oh, use them. Oh, right? now look what you said. Second Amendment. <laughs> I was From my cold, spider. dead, furry mouth, spider-like oh mouth. Spiders don't have mouths. They're, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I've got weaponized retainers. <laughs> okay. So here's a spider. Is an NRA spider with a gun in it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> that makes as much sense about, you know, there you go. So, so you what you're saying <laughs> is, no, they don't have any weapons. In there. <laughs> <laughs> Never use the word when it's a little day. Yeah. I sent sarcasm. Yeah. <laughs> Your spider senses are tickling. <laughs> <laughs> okay. right. really I need some danger bit. Oh. All right. All right. Will, yeah. All right. I'm going to try the fantasy story where the spiders have weapons. <laughs> you know what? Opinion. You know what, Tom? When you're GM and you want to make up that set of fantasy rules, <laughs> you are most welcome, sir. I, know I like the way the spider looks like a duck. It's a duck with a... Like Top a hat on. Duck. Um, so maybe I should make like the noise for these spider things less like and more like <laughs> it's like a <laughs> new noise the rat noise is... that's what it, the noise it makes when it has a musket in its mouth <laughs> yeah every time I fucking hear a rat noise now it's just going <laughs> okay alright I, I can see why you get so much the, the duck is amazing uh, what What's that? more ducks you should, you should, you should do some mocap duck work or something I should mocap duck that was awesome Thank you for belittling my art. <laughs> <They're free shit. laughs> I should work out I'm not belittling it. I think it's amazing. Thank you for <laughs> trying to dig yourself out the hole. You are a friend. Okay. So. <laughs> they make the movie of Orville. Yeah. You know, you'll be. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So. Wow. So. Orville and Savile in one day. That's so. <laughs> so. So, uh, so buttons. Right. <laughs> Euler, Euler. Okay, so uh, Tom, what are you going to do, sir? We've established these fucking things have guns in their mouths, but nothing in their hands because they don't have hands. 
And the guns aren't loaded. And the so guns, they wouldn't be able to load them because they've got no hands. That's yeah. like, this just makes sense, doesn't it? Silly spiders. Silly spiders. Um, Stupid uh, spiders. I'm going to have to turn on this, this one behind me then. Right. Um, I'm swinging <laughs> again. Keys in the bowl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a practice <laughs> statement there for sure. Yeah. You try and swing with these spiders. <laughs> this is like your, the <laughs> last joke. ditch defense. Oh, uh, my lovelies. You fancy a little. Uh... Okay. <laughs> so 13. That's a hit, dude. That's I hit. hit. That's a hit. I hit the spider. Yay. That's a hit. Bro. You're a hit with the spiders. You're right. a hit with the spiders. <laughs> <laughs> You move your hand there, buddy. Oh. So that's five. Oh. Five points plus. Wow, Jesus Christ. You are like the, the hard, most hardcore, like fighting hand to hand wizard. wizard. You're a big old I lump, aren't you, sir? Nowhere. You're a big old lump. Gertcha. Gertcha. Okay. I, I yell. Uh, yeah. All right. So I'm going to. I'm swinging nine. Right behind me. Nine points. Nice. What does that do, baby? That. Well, that's. This spider's already been hit, I believe. So, was that the one I shot? I'm pretty sure it is. One. Yeah. So that's gonna be actually that's gonna be on there. Yeah, that's gonna be a that's gonna that's a good hit, man. I think you're taking this thing out. Yeah. So what are you gonna well, do? To it? How are you gonna do to it? Um. So I'm 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 basically uh it's it's a blow overhead blow coming straight down, splitting its spider head. Wow. Um. And uh, yeah, that's and. Do, do... Go on. Oh, so do, we, do, do we have a dying duck noise or anything like that? <laughs> it's more like. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> I mean, just need to point out that whenever I, whenever I, whack one of these monsters into oblivion, there's a tiny little cheer from the from the oh. ferret. <laughs> 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 I will completely allow that. I'm so into that. I'm yeah. totally into that, Tom. I, you sold me. Every time okay. you kill something, now as canon, the little ferrets go. They make little like, <laughs> noises, and their paws go up in the either side like a little ferret, like a ferret wave. <laughs> yeah. Like the first one they goes really... up and the second one goes up like a little ferret wave going on there. Like, <laughs> nice. Okay. Are they all saying something incredibly poignant as they die? I'm sort of, I'm like oh, mate, a book oh, of oh, that's right. You know what they're talking birth. about. You know what they're talking the about. <laughs> I never got the chance to take that holiday with my old man. Yeah, nothing quite as elaborate <laughs> as that, dude, but I'm, I'm with you on that one. So, so you think, you think in like, the, the, like further away, they're about, they're about a good 200 yards away from you now. You think you heard the word mother like that being screamed out into the darkness. Quick, Zach, where are you? <laughs> yeah. Rosebud. <laughs> yes, I was going to say Rosebud. Yeah. But yeah, so you hear Rosebud been... being uh, in yeah. some spidery language. Rosebud. I'm making notes of their last words. Yeah. Are you like, what, you're keeping track of the last words of spiders? Uh, I'm going to chuck it my way. Get He's gone. <laughs> All right, bam. Cool. Bam. All right, nice one. So um, this spider is now, uh, Veronica is really putting up down the pace. And this spider's out of its, uh, this Ragnarok is well out of its, uh, the range of her influence. And is now like, looks very dumbfounded. And is sort of like, is reverting to a very animalistic state. So it just stops dead. It's like in combat with Teddy kind of, but actually doesn't seem to like, know what to do. And this one just suddenly stops and sort of starts turning slowly in a few circles and has lost interest in what's going on. So these things, it, it definitely <laughs> is still uh, angry and aggressive. And it will probably attack you soon, but you've got a little breathing space. Because the sort of like collective intellect of uh, Veronica has left it. And so it's looking very much uh, lost and uh, not really sure what it's doing. Um, so Teddy, um, you're not going to get attacked this round. Um, it is a new round, folks, I guess. Oh, these things are now starting to... The, the cart starts pulling a little bit. But it's uh, sort of like... Um, it's now being pulled... Like not forwards, but sort of like being pulled around a little bit. And these things, these huge forms, these huge chaotic... Whatever the fuck these things are now starting to emerge... Uh, from um, from the, um, the the sort of scabby cocoons, and these black fur ripples out. These huge, massive forms, both both burst out. Are you still all here, by the way? 
Yep. Yeah, yeah, it's just just Tom that Tom dropped. dropped. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So these these forms start bursting out, and through both of them, you hit, sort of you hear one of them it rears back its head, and it's it's now its face has now changed from that of a horse into like this this black furred creature with this long kind of like almost goldeny yellow like beak almost, and it just opens its beak and wretches heads back, and goes <laughs> like that. And it opens its eyes, and it's like like dark, dark. These very white, uh, the whites of its eyes, with these very, very dark pupils, sort of turns its head, and they look left and right, and start snapping at the bridles that are still attached to it. Um, both of its, uh, its, all of its feet, its hooves, have now changed into large, like flipper-like uh, appendages, of which there are only two. And the front of its, uh, the front feet, uh, which are still very big and large, are like covered in black fur. The rest of its body is. So he's actually going into a penguin. So yeah, here's the penguins. thing. It is your birthday, Pete. I decided <laughs> I'm going to give you, after much badgering and harassment and death threats, war penguins. Chaos. War penguins. Oh, Chaos shit. war penguins. These things <laughs> are not canon in Warhammer. Can we keep them? Can we keep them? But it's your birthday. <laughs> I must walk them and face them. It's your birthday. So I'm now giving you war penguins. Are you happy? Yay. Are you going to take them away? Because I know it really depends on our friendship <laughs> i don't know yet <laughs> it depends <laughs> depends on the emotional like fallout like would it really upset all of you if like these things just tried to kill you or do you want to keep them i think we want to keep them right keep them okay. oh here's here's the ace up my sleeve it's my turn Can it I is now your turn that? You're going to have to make an animal handling test because these things are no longer horses, dude. They're fucking war penguins. Mm. And you're well. And by the way, you're welcome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> oh no, yeah, sure. Oh, that's okay. This is the greatest. Oh, thanks for greatest like day of... breaking Warhammer for us and giving us something that would well, only be found. We don't know whether they're going to try and kill us or that's not. That's not the so point. Not sure Thank you. That's not the point, dude. Yeah, but, like a gift penguin in the beak, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You see. Damn you. <laughs> right. Okay, animal handling. I gave you fucking war Watched. penguins, man. That was, I'm, this, I'm gonna watch this episode back for that moment and go, <laughs> shit, not, not a single one of them, like, where's the gratitude? Like, dude. We didn't twig. We just didn't twig. It's just like, I'm just shocked. Okay. So, you, just, okay. I, think, I think we are expecting them to attack us. <laughs> also, yeah. yeah, also that. Yeah. Especially if Horsa Face comes back again. Well, I that's think she point. might yeah. make them nasty. Well, you don't know. She's a bad. She's, By the way, no... your characters have no understanding of what a penguin is. I'm just saying. These things are no. like chaotic, pure but we chaos. appreciate the aerodynamics. I get, yes. If you want to make an intelligence <laughs> test, you can. Yeah. They look like they swim really fast in the water. <laughs> Those things look incredibly <laughs> aquadynamic. Yeah. Please say that in an old world accent, otherwise I will not allow you to think that. Those penguins are aquadynamic. <laughs> <laughs> penguins! Nice name for them. I'll call them penguins. Yeah, there you go. Now you can call them penguins. <laughs> hey guys, my horse is dying, but I thought of a really cool name to call those chaotic creatures. <laughs> penguins! <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a free uh, action, I guess, right? Ziggy, ziggy, ziggy. <laughs> All right, so uh, where are we? I've lost everything. Okay, Bondo, yeah. You're going to have to make an animal handling test. These things are like, you have no idea what these things are anymore. Um, <coughs> so make your animal handling test is going to be your leadership test plus whatever skills okay. are relevant. So drive cart, definitely plus 10. Uh, yep. What else do you have that might be useful in situations? Uh, hmm. Although it's a bizarre situation, granted. But. <laughs> Let me have a look. Let me have a look. Let me have a look. No, everything else is heal wounds and, and um, poison, so it's just a 10. Okay, so straight plus okay. 10. You've got luck as well, so which you have to Okay, so I may have to use that. We've got, I've got a leadership of 46. All right, so plus So let's 10. give this a go. Let's see, please. Oh, look at that. What'd you get? Critical success. A critical success? Okay. Yes. Now we're fucking Can I tame talking. them? Can I tame them? Can let's I tame them? Look, look, look. There we go. Critical fucking success, people. All right. Jim, I am going to not only... I'm going to throw you the bone and the carcass. I'm going to throw you the whole, sh <laughs> whole shaboodle. You should probably not use that. It's a really horrible metaphor. Anyway, I'm going to throw you the whole body. Look, it's still not good. Um, <laughs> I'm going to give you ice cream. Yeah. I don't know. Whatever. These fucking penguins... Okay, you, you leap down. You leap onto the bridle where this mushy goblin thing was. And like, you slush through the mush. 
and then you like you basically just pat instinctively. You don't even know what you're doing really. You jump down. These things have stopped now. So you jump down and you just grab the beaks of both of them, and you bring both of their faces and you make them stare into your eyes. Like you grab both beaks, one hand in one hand, and they just That's stare in your eyes. Work. And something between the love of a gnome and a penguin crosses through <laughs> both of you. And, and in that moment, you become a throttle. <laughs> and these penguins, they just look at you like, mama. Well, actually, it's more like, it's more like, <laughs> like that. <laughs> oh, no. I'll make it big Bondo. Neil, yeah. are the penguins bigger than Bondo? Like 10 times the size of him, man. They're like, they're like a penguin the size of a fucking, like, 16 ha 18 hand Frisian horse. They're like fucking enormous things. Frisian horse. They're just like staring down at him, going, oh, like that. That's what they mean. Not, not. So yeah, you you better have a lot of sardines on you, man. You better have a lot of fucking sardines <laughs> in those barrels, dude. I'm just saying. But yeah, these things are not only tamed, but they they've also like they think like you get the feeling they think it like you're it's their mama or something. Oh. I can't believe I've given you war penguins. What the fuck am a I doing? Bondo's become a father. <laughs> a Bondo. Bondo thought he wasn't ready until he saw the love in the eyes of the penguins. Bondo's <laughs> become a daddy. Daddy oh. Bondo. All right. So we, uh, we, we, uh, we lose one companion. Gain four new ones. It's, it's beautiful. Why have you lost a companion? Who's dead? Oh, oh, oh yeah, oh he's a companion. Already? So I just We've moved on, we have penguins. <laughs> Pretty much. Sorry, I'm just gonna give him a little <laughs> there you go. Is he Christian by the way? I don't know if he's Christian or not. I'm just gonna give him a little probably. Probably. <laughs> probably. <laughs> <laughs> well I'll make an assumption. Alright, so there's there's his little oh, he's not dead yet, but I'm gonna let's just assume he's <laughs> <laughs> as they sip up the body bag and carry him away. <laughs> <laughs> this body bag's still twitching. Bum, bum, is he a fighter? Bum. He'll make it. Okay, so um. you, you've now bonded with these war penguins, which is the most ridiculous possible thing I could have done at this moment. By the way, everybody's staring at you with this beautiful moment. <laughs> That's a precise moment. The spider remembers what it is and just starts attacking you, uh, Pete, and just launches into an attack on you. As breaking this yeah, like, oh, In fact, actually, Pete, you and, and the Rachnoid are both looking at the war penguins going, Ah, oh. and then you just do that double take where you look at each other, you look back at the penguins, and then you look back at each other, and then the penguin just goes <laughs> and just attacks you straight away. What um, does he say? What's that actually translate? I'm gonna say us? you're too far. You're too far to know. <laughs> you're too far too far away. Um, I expect verbatim translations on all. I will give you verbatim. Right. You have verbatim. You. Verbatim? I don't even know her. Uh, yeah, I will. I will try and give her. <laughs> I will, or it should be actually verbatim. I don't even know him. There you go. That's, that's better. Verbatim. I don't even know him. Okay. Hi. It's been a long day. All right. So uh, we're not with you, Steve. Yeah, you greedy little player. Uh, we are with Ratigan, I believe. Now, no. Where are we? Teddy? When are my spider people? Spider people. Yeah, let's say spider people. Okay. No, no, me first. No, I'm pretty sure it's spider people. All right. So um. I'm gonna attack you with a spider. Uh, it does not hit though. It misses you. Um, so it's like it goes and then just like launches itself at you, but just the barrel's getting away and it's, you start moving around. You're pretty nimble. It doesn't quite manage to, to get you, you wild little thing. Um, new round. Uh, this spider is now turning around and is gaining interest into what's going on here. What are you going to do? It's you now your round, Teddy. Well, if he's, if he's having a go at me, <coughs> having a go back. Uh, have a pop at me, I'll have a pop back. So fucking young. Fucking I'll slash you for back you fucker slash you back uh oh, all right cool. okay yeah yeah yeah, yeah. all right come on let's let's see what we can do come on that's one of these critical oh, hits oh, oh. it's it's oh. one of those it really is your birthday today sir very cool Whee. that's like four criticals today wow and five and you i get to roll another one don't you, so. you do get to roll another six okay oh. that's now you have to roll a weapon oh. skill Very weapon skill to get an additional oh. six oh. Oh. So, no, okay, so that's Ooh. five plus six, no additional critical. So that's 11 plus your strength. The three, which that is 14. That is 14 points of damage. That is going to do it, my friend. Straight to the head. All right. Well. Boom. Shaka. All right, so you <sighs> sort of stab it with great precision straight through the center of its skull, and it just, like, pierces its brain instantly, and this thing just jabs and, and just flaps around and just dies at your feet. That was... Ratty and Teddy represent adventurers. Okay, uh, this thing sort of sees this and sort of doesn't really know what's going on, but doesn't like the looks of it and starts scampering off into the wilderness. Hopefully, maybe to find another Ratnoid and settle down and 
have children. Aww. They have a nice life. <laughs> Doesn't always have to be fighting, does it? All right, cool. Uh, okay, so these things are now done, Ski. You are you're dead. Let's me go back to what's happening with Steve because that's pretty poignant. And I, uh, uh, I sort of oh, he just his internet just dropped. So give us ah. some. Give him... Okay, well, let, well, I'll narratively get here. Okay, at some point he starts walking back, and we'll find out what happened to him in a minute. He starts walking back very slowly uh, towards towards the cart. In fact, he gets close to the car as you, you're sort of all catching your breath, and he goes, "What the fuck is those?" <laughs> so, like, but you can, you can sort of tell his usual jovality has sort of like um, has sort of left him when he says, "That's his that's You know, he sort of like doesn't really have the same zip that he usually has. He's walking very slowly. You also notice he's, he's walking, which is unusual for him. Um, what are the three of you going to do? Who? What happened to Veronica? She disappeared. You don't yeah. know. <coughs> you don't know. None on, of you on saw her, that. On her arachnoid. Oh. Presumably, yeah. Okay. Hmm. Well, you don't know what happened to her. None of you saw her. The only person that sub, sub, um, seemingly was dealing with her was uh, was Steve. What the fucking hell is going on? Uh, we've got to get back to Sinterklaas fucking quick and tell him what the fuck's happening and get out of here. You, you all seem rather Guys, nervously just... role-playing right now. <laughs> that caught me accident. That stunned me so much. Um... <laughs> this is what happens yeah, when you give you more headwinds, man. It fucks you guys up. <laughs> where, <laughs> is... where is Bondo, Sinterklaas can you still drive this right now? All right, I think he's connecting back. It's okay. You yeah, can, you I can, can hear you. Cool. I All can't right, see back. you. That's the I'm, I'm back on the, just, just loading the thingy. No problem. Um, so we can do this narratively speaking. So you're standing over. You're currently standing over Bo Leviticus's body. He, you can tell. It's like flex. I thought you blood. said he wasn't dead. Oh, well, I think narratively <laughs> it's more interesting if he died. So I think he's okay. better if he died. He needs <laughs> to die. Leviticus is happy to. Leviticus is happy to serve the narrative. <laughs> I think for, to make the narrative, otherwise I would demean the narrative, Steve. Yeah, yeah, well, I wouldn't want you to do that now. Thank yeah. you. So, <laughs> so <laughs> flex of blood off your trusty old friend. I'm just, I'm just crossing him off my character sheet. <laughs> well, you've got war penguins <laughs> on. There's a lot of blood. I was going to say, I've got war penguin alpha. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, the horse sort of looks at you like, <laughs> <laughs> like that. And just sort of like, it actually doesn't do that at all. It, just, it rests its head against your against your thigh because you're sort of on your knees, like stroking its head or whatever. And it sort of nuzzles into you and sort of looks at you. It's like slight like tear in its eye, and there's blood in its flex. You can tell that it, it's it's its body is just giving up. Like it's it's dying of exertion. Basically. I'm I'm going to reach down and give him one last sugar lump for old times' sake, <laughs> and then and then I'm going to realise that his teeth are horribly rotten, and actually I've just given him awful dentition for giving him sugar lumps for years. <laughs> sure. oh, that's, that's your parting thoughts. <laughs> exactly. in your I think you need Feed to all of it your horse, horse, Dave. <laughs> Feeding, feeding sugar lumps to horses. All right. All of it because I should have brushed your teeth. <laughs> if I could have my time again, I would perform proper dental hygiene. Um, <laughs> and maybe look after your cholesterol levels. Yeah, yeah. We never took you for your well horse check. <laughs> and I fed you all that candy. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you do? Like that. Yeah, baby, yeah. Okay. He's a complex character, Ziggy. He's a very complex 17-year-old. All right, so so you sort of like, he, he, he just expires in your in your arms. Uh, he dies in front of you. Um, his body, um, he's just old. He's just, uh, he just got pushed. The, this battle was too much, and it was just inevitable that he was going to pass like this. It wasn't, it wasn't my fault. I didn't push him too hard. It, it was Veronica's fault for having a fast war spider. It was Veronica's fault, I guess. Guess yeah. one of, if you want fecious reasoning, it was Veronica's fault. <laughs> it was Veronica's fault <laughs> because she was there. <laughs> I guess she's the bad guy. Yeah, it's her fault. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. If you can sleep better tonight, I want you to have a good night's sleep. All right. So your your horse is is er, uh, morte, so it's dead. Um, you slowly start. I'm, I'm going to pour a quart of good whiskey into the ground, one for my homies. <laughs> and start walking off. My homies in Bruges. Start walking off like a, like a proper like corporal with a fucking old world of corporal thing swagger going on. All right. Um, so you stole what is swagger your way down. Is Veronica like dust? Is she got not dust? Is she is she you know whatever gone in the wind? Is she she's gone in, she's the in the wind? wind. Yeah, she's definitely in the wind. She's in the wind. Yeah, yeah, you are right. you are left very much to your own devices. In fact, the the night is actually kind of like it's still nighttime. It's getting to, well. It's, I guess it's getting yeah. It's still the middle of the night, really. Um, 
But it's a light wind. It's like a, it's late spring, so it's not actually that cold at the moment. And there's, there's a light breeze. Do you notice that there's the scraps of wasteland and um, and the, there is quite a lot more straw and grass like everywhere around the rocks that are, that are dotting on this ca on this canyon and crevasse. And uh, there's sort of like a, you can almost feel like the breeze picks up a little bit as you walk away from your your valiant steed um, with your is saddle on your shoulder. Obviously, you take the saddle off. Are we out of danger? You are for the moment. However, you still ha very much have a thing to do. So. Okay. What do you want to do then? Oh well, I was just I was if we, I was going to see if we got time to to make him a shallow grave. Um, well, you, it would take, it would take quite <laughs> some time. Shallow, a shallow grave for a horse isn't that shallow, actually. <laughs> no, it's pretty fucking <laughs> just deep. Break his legs. Smaller. Okay. Jesus. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, carrying body. More body. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> you were such a good you, horse. Dear, horse. <laughs> <laughs> you never did me any wrong. <laughs> and then and it'd be like <laughs> Like that. Like the, you know that fast we get really fast suddenly and then it just stops. Alright. No, I've, I've never actually stolen anyone's leg off. I'm like wood, dude. Like piece of fucking wood. It, it was just the way you invited us conspiratorially into your little example there. You know how it is when you when you're banned storing your person to that to that last that last difficult bit of bone before you put them in wrapping and melt their body in acid. Yeah. I was thinking yeah, about like I did like some fucking edging on the bottom of my of the of the wall here and okay, let's move forward from my, my I did not do that to bodies, right? <laughs> the acid takes care of it. Okay, so let's move forward. So, so Dexter, shit right there, man. Uh, okay, so you, you sort of walk back and you try to keep your head up, but your heavy, your heart is now heavy. You suddenly, at this point, take, see the, the these two things that are basically enormous fucking penguins, and the gnome has the beak of each of the, these chaotic creatures, and is now like pulling the beaks into his face. And all you can say, I don't know how you just say this in German, but that's a scheiter. <laughs> like that's a scheiter. <laughs> And like, uh, but your heart isn't really in even the surprise of this. It's just you're you're just a bit all over the place right now. Um, Ratigan mm. is standing up. Uh, Teddy is like panting heavily, but he's, there's a strange like kind of like open eyedness to him. And he's, I, I'm, I've killed two things. In you combat. killed two oh fucking God. things, and these are fucking big things, dude. This has had an effect on you for sure. Oh. Um, yeah, this is like yeah, you are definitely feeling the, a, big, a bigger half than when you started. You know. Maybe by a centimetre. Why not? I give, give you that <laughs> centimetre. There you go. That's about ten percent. Okay, so folks, I'm going to hey, I'm four foot. Can you get back to narrative? So purely on you guys. So what are you going to discuss and what are you going to do, folks? What's your thing? You take it away. What the fuck are those things? Fucking hell! What the fuck are they? Jesus. Oh, that's some, that's some A level shit there, folks. <laughs> oh, man, they, do, but they seem to like me a lot, so <laughs> can we keep them? Are the penguins, uh, are the war penguin, penguins cuddling Bondo, like between it? Kind of nuzzling him, yeah. They're like you know, in, in a horrific. They're young, sort of just under their legs and sort of walk around. That's Bondo. <laughs> Basically, yeah. Penguins. He's sort of like yeah. nuzzling these two fucking things, yeah. <laughs> The beaks so are could probably rip him in we're half. On our way back. We're what on our what? way back to Santa class, aren't we? We're supposed to be, yeah. Yeah. So we're just yeah. cuddling chaotic penguins. These I'm not sure what to do with these guys now. Kind they're of... so cute. Bondo thinks they're so cute. Oh, Bondo wants to keep them, I promise. I, Bondo <laughs> promises to walk them. <laughs> Bondo will feed them. Oh, go on. Oh, they left. <laughs> Do, do, do you think, do you think uh, they can pull a cart? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. No. Okay, can, can, we, can we saddle them? <laughs> oh, but, well, actually, weirdly, the bridling is still attached to their bodies. So whatever the, whatever the spell affected, it only affected organic material. So the bridling and the wood and everything is still completely sound. And it's still attached to their bodies. So these things are ready to go in the same way that in the way that in the way that a penguin can <laughs> be to put a car. Okay. So... All those horses <laughs> worth a bloody try. Don't say it. It's fine. I'm gonna let it go. It's been a long yeah. time. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you were <laughs> talking about, about strapped in and strap ons, weren't you? Okay. Yeah, you Please, were. Let's not go there. Yeah. All right. Yeah. 
Got it. Let's move forward. So, We're all hands here. We're all handy. Yeah, you're good. Hand. I just own the goblin out. <laughs> my, hands, my hands over here. Sure, you, you push the goblin, like the mess of the goblin either side. Um, Can the penguins eat it? Yeah, the, in fact, actually, it kind of, you actually, the, your first thought is that it's now penguin mush. So you yeah. sort of like throw it into one of like the sacks nearby and you scrape it into the sacks and you sort of keep it as penguin food, I guess. Aha. Uh -huh. Wow. Fair enough. That's. Oh, do you remember the whole conversation about like how like Steve comes up with the name Penguin? This is that moment. <laughs> okay. Is that um, is that a good idea to get them used to the taste of humanoid flesh? Mm -hmm. just, yes, just, definitely. Just, mm -hmm. just thinking out loud. Who wants more of that boy? I can as far as Bondo's concerned, anything that eats goblins is alright with Bondo. <laughs> okay. Uh, what is the plan, folks? What's the plan? Well, where, where, where did Veronica go? Did we? Did anyone see where she went? She went. What was that thing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm pointing to the This is a dust cloud. Of, uh, scutty, scutty. My, uh, I don't know if anybody. No one's. No one's comforted me, but my horse died. Not a single person is interested in your <laughs> horse. By the way, everyone, Leviticus has died. Spice of May. He had a soldier's death. At this point, Steve, you realise that everybody's like busy themselves. Soldier's death, you see, died in a whorehouse. Like Bond Bondo's like Bondo's like jumped Bondo's like jumped on top of his seat and is like getting gearing up the penguins. Tom is like fiddling with his ferrets and like like Pete's just looking I'm out the middle of the Not a metaphor. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Pete's just Orlando God. blooming it by staring out into middle distance at nothing. You know, nobody's really listening to you about your dead horse. <laughs> They're Sorry. taking Veronica to Eisendown. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, write, I'm writing it. I'm writing it down in my book of uh, book of uh, psychosis. <laughs> nobody cared, and then they didn't no. care when my and horse then died. Nobody cared when Leviticus died. And it was my you birthday. You are a teenager, so yeah, I suppose you have a diary with all the things that everyone's done to you. <laughs> so at this point, I'm assuming the penguins are going to move into action. I'm going to get the fuck out of here, right? Yeah. Right. yeah. Okay. So. Um, uh, the penguins are actually moving pretty fucking quickly. Um, they stand, because, you know, they're fucking penguins. They do this thing where they, they sort of stand forward and lean forward. And their feet, this is a terrible drawing of a penguin moving, but... <laughs> really is, if you turn... No, oh, gosh, it. I, which angle? I don't even like want to know. Right. It looks so like a dick. <laughs> that's why I got rid of it. It, looked, <laughs> it did look a little, little look like a penis. All right. So uh, these things like sort of rear up. <coughs> and they use the, the, their front flippers to like gr to like to pull the ground along. So they kind of move. On, they're not quadruped. They kind of move more like I guess like chimps, right? So they sort of use their like front their flippers to like smack the, the ground along, and their back flippers like kind of push along, and that's how they move, which kind of gives you a rocking sensation up and down as opposed to like left and right. So it's a little strange, but you get used to it. And they're actually pretty easy to control. Uh, they're not quite as fast as horses, but they're a lot more agile, and they seem to turn. <laughs> Did you just laugh when I said that? Sorry, yes. I've, just, I've just got this image of them sort of waddling, like, like, in the, like, like in the David Attenborough things where they're sort of like in a big circle to keep warm, and that's how they're, how they're it's kind of like along. With, and, and then I get out of the cart and walk faster than the penguins. Sort of waddling along, because they're really aquatic birds, aren't they, if we're honest? But, um... Recently, yeah, I, I'm really, you guys have we really fucked ourselves by allowing war penguins, because they don't really move the way that I want them to move. To give you any in fact okay you know what fuck it that's how they move they just waddle they just waddle really quickly <laughs> and so now I your movement has gone from they're a quite smooth... big so but... short legs on big animals would still kind of go the distance not really mm. but okay <laughs> well, I, just, I just roll with it no, or they no, might what, yeah. what okay. we need to do is, get, is basically get them like a cart each so that they can lie <laughs> belly down <laughs> on their cycle. and sort of like yeah, yeah sort of like <laughs> flap their wings and sort of push themselves along <laughs> like, like at the beginning of a bobsleigh race or something <laughs> I am really I regretting. Tried, guy, and off they go. I am regretting giving great. you more penguins. Please don't keep making you regret them, otherwise I'll make them <laughs> eat you. <laughs> so awesome. These things like <laughs> so like, like mate, they're mating tortoises. <laughs> yeah. Jimmy Savile again. So they sort of, they sort of start. Oh, oh, oh. They sort of start like waddling <laughs> forwards, and they power up a little bit, and they lean into 
They lean into the waddle, if that makes sense. And they sort of use their front flippers to like help them skip forward a lot. I mean, they don't move as fast as horses. Like your cart is not as fast now, but it's still moving quicker than any of you guys can run. So that's sort of like still a better way of transportation. Um, none of you, it doesn't occur to we're any he- of you. We're heading in the right direction, right? You are, you're still heading in the right direction, yeah. It doesn't occur to any of you, I guess, that, you know, like, it's really hard to explain what these things are to like people, I guess. But you know, let's cross that bridge. All right. I think, I think we should probably leave them a long way from the camp because they're the sort of things that will might have us burn be a at the stake. Sort of stake, yes. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, might be a good Heretical idea. Co- chaoticists. They are essentially creatures of chaos now. Yeah, it's probably a good idea. Mm. All right. So you you pound your way down. Um, there's only about you're only about forty minutes away from the camp, um, and you manage to get there. It's, it's in the middle of the dead of night. Uh, as you, how, what are you actually doing? You're actually stopping the car away from the camp. I can draw it. For We're you. gonna have to really, you know. I think so. Right? I'm gonna have to have that painful conversation that they've got to go their own way, and you know, you're gonna Bondo them? will miss you, but you can't follow Bondo. Stay here. <laughs> <laughs> you you're free. Oh, I, you're free. You're free now. <laughs> you live your life. Are you Hang gonna? On, are we are getting rid of the. War penguins. Are you gonna? No, are you gonna? Are you gonna? No, not permanently. Are you gonna no, like old yell at them, or are you gonna like lassie them? No, Which no, we're gonna, gonna, gonna have to. You're not gonna, gonna like... become the littlest hobos and travel from village to village helping people. <laughs> In a town, just <sighs> we're moving on. In a town, just keep on going. Where I wanna be. Every step I These little penguins going around so massive chaos creatures <laughs> going around making friendships, solving crime. Yeah, I can see it now. It's gonna be great. All right. <laughs> can we just do the spin off of that? Because that's much more interesting. Thank you. I take offense to that, Pete. This is a well crafted narrative that you're destroying. All right. So. All right. So, so you meant- I think I think we can keep the penguins, but we just have to keep them out of sight. I think we need to get like a horse costume for each of them that they can climb into. <laughs> one on the front, and, one on uh, the back. Yeah, right, yeah exactly. Okay. Good Panto, luck. Panto, good luck Panto, with all of them. Can we not just like paint them so they look like horses? Yeah, I guess you could paint them. No, not really. No, <laughs> so, I, I just, really. just no. no. I think this is time to say goodbye. Leave, <laughs> leave them. Uh, I want to keep the war penguins. Or at least, can we find a sort of a nice Arctic lake that they can live in and we can come back and visit them? That can be an entire quest line if you wish. Yeah, that can make that a thing. All right. So you, uh, you manage to, you can you decide to leave the, the, the sort of war cart, the war cart, the war penguins. <laughs> Uh, oh, there's a ridge here, which is sort of like slightly hidden, and you can see the there's fire count, there's little fire pits around the wagon train where obviously there are guards posted. Uh, obviously the the guards are sitting in, in front of the fire post, so obviously their their night vision isn't ruined by it. Uh, but you know because the conversations around the camp that these were supposed to be here, that they're basically people posted to keep a, a watch out for you know wolves and things like that or nasty things like this. Uh, and there is a a, a um, a guard over here um, that as soon as you start approaching uh, immediately stands up and uh, is drawing a bow on you uh, as they're obviously going to be trained to do. Uh, what are you going to do, folks? You're sort of walking towards them in, uh, in a, as a group. Is there Santa Claus to inside? Uh, uh, what if Santa Claus is a bad guy as well? You can see essentially the campfire is in the middle here. So if you're looking down here, let me make that a little bit less bright. Sorry, folks. So here's like the, the big bonfire in the center. These are the wagons that are pulled around into a circle. This was the space where your wagon was. So the, obviously they're expecting you to bring the wagon back, but obviously you haven't got it. So <coughs> you're approaching on foot, which they are not expecting you to do. Um, this is a human as well. You seem to remember there's a human being posted. There are some elves in the group, but this particular one is actually human. So which doesn't help you because they don't have very good night vision generally. Um, also it, it is, although it is sort of on the right, the correct side of the fire, it's going to have a hard time seeing you, and you're approaching it. Well, he's seen something, so he's standing up and drawing a beam on you. It's a good abend, my friend. He's shouting it out, yeah. Yeah. <coughs> he goes, good abend. Uh, who goes there? It is I, Corporal Hauptmann, returned from our mission with my followers. Where's your wagon? <laughs> your followers. <laughs> <laughs> we had a bit of a problem with the wagon. Okay, so you're going to carry on approaching, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah. So you carry on approaching. He's sort of, he's a bit nervous, but he, as he as he sees you in the firelight properly, as the reflection behind him 
uh, so the illumination behind him illuminates you. Um, he relaxes a lot and goes, well, I'm still wagging again, he says. Sorry. Uh, but it's a long story. Well, Sinter isn't going to be very happy about that. He's usually, as you know, he's usually in a pretty good mood, but the, I don't know which wagon that was, but if he's, the, them's not the toys that he was, uh, he was looking for for the children of the next village. Well, he won't be happy about that, I can tell you. Something else he's not going to be happy about, I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sure I've bigger fish to fry. All right. He goes, well, go on then. You better hurry up. He's, uh, he's, by the ca- he's, by, he's with Donna by the campfire. Donna's a cook, in case you've forgotten. <laughs> Donna kebab. Yeah, I know. There you go. Uh, there you go. Hey. Very good. All right, so he's, uh, yeah, he's with, he's with Donna. Um, you can see him, actually. He seems to be, he's, okay, so he is, um, oh, there's four of you here. Weird. <coughs> okay, so you can see Santa Claus is, is moving around. He's, he seems to be a little bit frantic, and he's, like, talking to people. He's talking to Donna, but there's also somebody else with him, one of the elves, you think. Um, and he's sort of like moving around, so sort of like that. He's sort of like talking and like that. Um, and you, you sort of, he's, he looks and goes, oh! And so he starts like rushing over to you. And he's quite a portly fellow. He's got a very, he's like barrel chested and barrel tummied. Although he's strong as shit. I mean, he's like super strong. And he's got his like red long jacket on and his red, his red breeches, his w- like fur breeches. And he bounds over to you and he goes, oh! Oh, my word, we were, we were going to get worried. Um, where's the wagon? What happened to you? My God, you look like shit. <coughs> uh, well, I guess there's some good news and some bad news. Oh, oh, oh. The good news is that your <laughs> oh, wife is a very, very competent woman. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, the bad news is the area of her competency leads is less than socially desirable. Is there somewhere more private you can talk about? <laughs> yes, oh, well, oh, uh, well, you can come to my wagon. My okay, this way. He sort of points you towards, uh, in fact, you're standing by his wagon, and he asks uh, Blitzen, who is uh, one of the, the elf archers, oh, 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 please, please just give us some uh, space and whatnot. And he sort of waves her away in, in a polite way and she sort of nods and without turning anything. As she comes out of his wagon, because she's like being on guard there, I guess, she looks at you, Tom, straight in the eye and just gives you a long wink and then just walks off with a little bit of, a little bit of sass in that walk. Um, she looks what? hard as nails, by the way. Her, like, she's got like, her elf bow. She's like cool leathers on. She looks wicked, like this kind of mo- half Mohican side cut. I mean, she's Blitzen's fucking cool. She also looks like she could destroy all of you. So, you know, a cool cucumber. Well, now I must destroy her. No. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you really are not very good at romance. All right, so. so <laughs> You want me to fight you? Okay. okay. <laughs> so, uh, so you step into he's got two ferrets, man. He doesn't need to be good at romance. That's right. It's entirely right. He's got, he's got ferrets. You think they can do the talking for him? All right. So, what do you? He's now in, so he's entered into his like his uh, wagon, and he's thrown like the, there's like a curtainy kind of like curtain in front of the where the door should be, I guess, and he sort of swings that back, and he stands and goes. Oh, oh. Oh, my, oh, I mean, I'm terribly sorry. I'm, I'm rather preoccupied. I've, uh, you were talking about my wife. Have you seen my wife? She's, she's missing from the camp. I'm, I'm most worried about her. She oh, often goes off. <laughs> he starts <laughs> coughing a little bit. Pours himself some brandy. And goes, <clears throat> she often walks off into the wilderness to pick herbs and whatnot. You know, she's, uh, she's very interested in uh, nature and uh, the natural world. He sort of steps over. Big small edges herbs. Yeah, um, as you as you enter into his like private wagon, like which is kind of like an office, like kind of like a circus ringmaster's office. Do you know what I mean? Like where the takings are done and business is done, but it's still a wagon. Um, you notice there's two great enormous fucking axes uh, on the wall behind his chair, which is in front of his desk just here, and on the other side is like oh, there's co- constant chests and boxes and every bit of space is used and filled with some kind of miscellaneous office equipment or some kind of like outdoors equipment or something. He's like a really practical guy and he's like a rat pack. He's using every possible space rather inge- inge- ingeniously in places as well, which is very cool. And also his bed is at the end, which is like a mezzanine above a yet more chests and things. So yeah, he's, he really knows how to pack a wagon well. Sorry, Cam? <laughs> Is that code for something as well? Um, <laughs> <sighs> 
<laughs> is there any alcohol in the um yeah he's pouring uh, himself a brandy by it. it's a little, he is, little okay. so, like a little table. Well, I'll, I'll, when he's pouring it i'll go up and sort of like put my finger underneath sort of the back so it sort of keeps pouring like a bigger like a bigger shot into the uh <laughs> i think my, my, my man you, I, i've sort of got one one hand on my pamphlet of how to break bad news too um, <laughs> <laughs> we're having one last look at it um <laughs> tip him a Tip him a double shot of brandy. Make um, sure they're drunk. It's like yeah, exactly. yeah. Make sure they forget everything. Are you sitting song? down? Are you sitting comfortably, my hair? Okay. Are you um, sitting? Are you sitting drunkenly, my hair? Okay. So okay. So you you sort of do this rather delicate, culturally uh, attuned but um, very obvious like lift of the of the bottle. He looks at you and goes, ooh, 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 mm, and like starts drinking it. He, he sits back into his chair behind the desk with his two impressive waxes. And he goes, now then, uh, uh, you, you said something about my wife uh, or something? And all four of you are sort of standing here. Well, funny thing is, <laughs> he bumped into your wife earlier. She wasn't picking herbs. <laughs> what? <laughs> he just sort of, he's looking he's forward to looking at Is there anything, so, sorry, to, is there anything in the, can I do like while Bondo's starting to sort of uh, talk to him, is there anything in the trailer that might make me think that actually Sinterklaas is a spider cultist as well? I mean, like, oh, sure, you want to make a perception track. You know, you know, sort of, yeah. and, and you, can, you can all do it. Yeah, yeah. you can like. all do this if you want. You yeah. can all make individual initiative tests. If anybody has anything like, I don't know, like excellent vision um, or anything like heraldry might even help actually. Herald, I have heraldry. Yeah, heraldry. <laughs> yeah, heraldry <laughs> have heraldry. I have heraldry. Yeah, sure. <laughs> um, yeah. Spot trap? No, no, no. Where is it? Spot, we're not What's looking for a trap per se, so that's not going to help. Heraldry, yes. 33 is going to help, okay. What, um, what, what are you rolling against, Neil? Initiative. Uh, initiative, yeah. Against a tip. Yeah. With yeah, yeah. luck, mine helps. I succeed. Actually, no, it should be intelligence, really. Sorry, intelligence. Intelligence. Oh bollocks! <laughs> I, know I can do that with luck. No, I got mine passes with luck. Uh, yep, your luck for the day, which will give you plus one or plus ten depending on the roll holds. It's your very first one that you've used. You have X amount of pieces of luck left in this day. Uh, cool. So you notice uh, anybody who's passed who's failed, folks? I f I failed. So Ondo has passed. Okay. Did you say it was intelligence? Now? Intelligence, Sorry, please. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, no, I didn't. I didn't pass. I got thirty-three. <coughs> Thirty-one. And Tom. Just rolling. I passed with luck. Uh, yep, your luck holds. Oh, yeah. First time you've used it, obviously, so it'll definitely work. Um, cool. Okay, so both. Uh, okay, so, so Ziggy and um, Teddy, you're sort of trying to look around surreptitiously, but you, you're sort of distracted by what he's saying, and you're all, you also all of you are making a bit of a fumble about trying to break the fact that his wife's either dead and or a cultist. Um, whereas Bondo and um, Tommy, both of you. So sort of both look around and then stare at the same thing, but your eyes sort of like lock onto the same thing, and you sort of feel that both of you are like, both of you get the same thing at the same time. And are you, you going to message us what it is? No, or no, no, I'm going to say, no, no, I'm going to say it here because we're not doing that um, right now. It doesn't really, it doesn't really work like that. Um, <laughs> you both stop and stare, and you see, um, it, there's a painting of Sinterklaas, and it's signed by Veronica. And it's a picture of Sinterklaas, like in his warrior days. Clearly, he was before he was a merchant. Clearly, he was a mercenary, a warrior, or something. And you see, like he is standing, like with with his Sigmarite symbols on, and he looks amazing and virile and, and young. And behind him, in the background, which you didn't really see for, at first, but now you can see quite clearly, is like the symbol in the clouds, and it looks very much like the symbol that you think you saw on a chain around Veronica's neck, which was this strange wiggly like circle and this long weird beak-like thing that came out of it. But it's very clear, you didn't, like this, this painting which is on the wall over here, um, you very clearly see that it's not about him, it's about the painter, if that makes sense. And you very clearly see this painting and the symbol in the painting now. Um, not really dun, dun, much to, dun, dun, yeah, dun, not really dun, much to go dun. on, but it doesn't seem associated with him so much as He's in the painting, if that makes sense. Fair um, enough. Does that make sense? Well, like Bond was saying, we bumped into your wife earlier. Um, she wasn't picking herbs. Um, 
How familiar are you with spider cults? <laughs> <laughs> he goes, spider cults? What on earth what the blazes are you talking about? You know, that chaos tomfoolery with the things with more legs than really they have any business with having. He sort of goes, and he, look, he turns to Ratty and just goes, I thought you were the idiot. <laughs> <laughs> now, where's my uh, wife? And he just start, he stands up and he just idiot. shouts. And the, the, shout... fact, the fact of the matter is, my man, that your wife has been leading a double life. She's clearly involved in some sort of nefarious plan. And I'm sorry to be the one to break it to you. Um, it's not really my forte, but yeah, I chopped her arm off. And uh, you, you did know, what? She... <laughs> she... Yeah, he's now, he's now like going she's both fine. of his. She, she, she still was unable to engage just in combat later. She's fine. You did <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> his hands, his both his enormously meaty hands are about pounding either side of the table. His veins are sticking out all over his head and his face and his arms and his neck. He's sort of like, he, he's actually stood up and ripped open his jacket and he's now like bare chested and he's just suddenly going, You did what? Like that. And he's just screaming at you with fleckle, flecks of spit just like the wash over all of your faces. He's afraid it's true, array. but your your wife runs a chaos spider <coughs> cult. Okay, so you gonna, side, I'm sorry. Yeah, at this point, you have to make fellowship tests. There is no way <laughs> right, okay. on God's green earth you're going to get away with just talking at him. Okay. Oh, um, he plays with You can make a fellowship test. Well, this is a fellowship test because you haven't really been trying to like command him or anything. So, um, I'm going to give it to Steve's character to Ziggy. Oof. Because he's been doing the, the, the talking mostly. And then if not, Bondo Sorry. can back him up. Okay, so I'm just going to get them together to do the roll over here. We yeah. Go. <laughs> oh. 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 Oh, wow. You beautiful man. That is a, that is a 20, critical failure. 20, 10 and 10. Yes, 20. <laughs> that's, that's zero. All right. Yeah. So oh, he, crap. He just stops, oh, and his whole shit, face biscuits. is gone red. And he puts his hands above his head and just grabs the two axes from the wall and just yanks them down. And he's doing this very slowly. Like, he's not trying to rush you or anything. And he just starts slowly walking around the side. And you all kind of feel like you should all slowly walk the fuck out of his wagon, which <laughs> you can do if you wish to. But I kind of get the feeling that you should do that. Bondo reckons we should back out slowly here, lads. Um, I'm misreading the signals entirely, and I'm going to pour myself <laughs> oh, a drink of brandy. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> so whilst the others go... <laughs> and start walking out, you go, Ah, I have his attention, yeah? I should now engage in the second part of the manual, which is to get a drink yourself and engage him in adult conversation. And I'll I'll, I'll sort of stand and sort of jauntily, sort of put one leg up on his desk. (laughs) What I assume to be a sort of a casual pose. Sure. What I've I've read is humans do when they're trying to be casual with each other. So you take you take um you take you take the bottle because there are no glasses left, and then you just put like a dirty foot on his desk. He goes, and then you turn to him and you say. Hello. Hello. <laughs> yep. Well, what do you say to him, Steve? What do you say to him, Steve? Oh, sorry. I, I, I think I just lost about five minutes of time there. Um... <laughs> lay off the crack, Steve. You yeah, know we've thought about I'll... this. Okay. So Is I, it I intervention thought... time again? <laughs> um, I say. Yeah, we did everything we could, but, you know, we turned up at the town and, you know, there were arachnoids and, and then the church and, and then, you know, we went to t- village hall and there was a fight and, you know, Veronica was there. With the... He puts, he puts it, as you're talking, he puts one of his axes, like, in a, like, in a, like a pout, like a sling he's got on his back, I guess he's put the whole thing on his back. And then he just grabs you by the scruff of your neck and brings you very, very close, like your nose to nose. You're still like misreading the situation, so you think that maybe he's in such shock that he, he's trying to look for like comfort or something, like affection, maybe. <laughs> and like he's really close to you, like awkwardly close. And he just says in a very low voice, What the blazes is a arachnoid. 
And as you as he says that, and you have this again, this awkward silence, which you're misreading really badly, by the way. Um, outside, uh, the three of you are standing together, not knowing quite what to do. And you can see that they these two are now very, very close to each other's faces. And he's sort of trembling and shaking with anger. And Steve, like Ziggy, seems to completely misread this. Donna is like is actually by the cook and goes, "Don't worry about him." He's in one of his moods. His wife often does this and leaves him alone. He'll be fine, right as rain. Just uh, best leave him be and don't say anything that'll piss him off, eh? <laughs> he starts laughing. And as, he does, too late for that. as he does that, uh. he turns back to the, the sort of cauldron of, uh, of soup that he's making and just goes, Fans, you look hungry, lads. You want to try some? Tuck in? Yeah. I, I, uh, sure. sure, sure. Chaos soup sounds good. <laughs> Kale soup. I I wouldn't go near. No, uh, I, we're not hungry, are we? We're not at all hungry, are we, boys? I'm always hungry. I'll eat. Yeah, the whole Well, if, if Bondo Eddie. survives the next Eddie. five minutes, I might take you up on your kind offer. But <laughs> give us a moment, Alan. Are you going to eat? No, Teddy. I think no, no, I think we're going to no. get a chance. No. <laughs> I need to back Ziggy up. I was doing a fair bit of talking, and yeah. Okay, fair enough. All right, so, you, uh, so as you say, he goes, he goes, no, really? Oh, it's lovely. It's my own vegetable soup. It's like, what? And as he says that, as he holds like the ladle to his mouth, he goes, oh, you should try it. And he just, and he just stops, and he just splurts blood all over, like a big spray. And out from his throat, you see a narrow bolt that's just sticking straight out. And he sort of like drops the ladle into the soup and he starts like touching the arrow. Wait, there's, an arrow the there's an arrow in the soup. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why that metal <laughs> detector. Uh, yes, yeah. Steve, there's an arrow in the soup. That was the big climatic cliff edge. Welcome to <laughs> Have a look over the edge. Make sure you're holding your friends so you don't fall over. Yeah. So he's, there's a bolt goes through his neck from behind. I sound like, like one of those like speaking computer voice things. The bolt goes through the net. <laughs> All right, so the bolt your goes... call is important to us. <laughs> your call, your bolt Please in your neck off. is important to us. Please stay on the line while we think of what next to do. All right, so this this arrow bolt goes through this dude's neck and just showers Teddy with blood. Like all over his face, like just washes him around. And this guy just like staggers backwards and then just collapses into these barrels. And I wasn't going to fall into the soap, damn it. All three of you sort of stand around like, what the fuck was that? And then you hear this, sp, 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 and the whole, and suddenly out of this night sky from all directions, arrows start firing and raining down into the camp. And at that point, folks, we are going to stop today. <sighs> can I flip the table? Can I flip the table? Can I flip the table? You can flip it. Wait, 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 Say when, Neil. Say when. Oh, God. Now you can do it, you know. Thank you. <laughs> hey! Hey! Hey, look at that. The war penguins. Oh, look at that. That's really cool. The war penguins. War penguins are, in, are in, uh, oh, invading Lucini. Fuck you Luchini. guys for making me give you war penguins, man. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be so hard to roleplay. All right. Um, yeah, I just want to say huge thank you uh, to all of our audience of two people who are still here and everybody else is gone. So, <laughs> thank you very much for sticking with us, folks. I hope you had fun. Um, I don't know if you had fun or not, but I guess you did. You can't answer back, so I'm assuming, assuming yes. Well, I'm getting quite a lot of uh, feedback from the channel. <laughs> Never do that <laughs> ever again. <laughs> please, 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 dear please. Neil, please, please, why, oh why, oh dear why. Dear sweet Jesus, for the don't love of all the holy, stop making that noise. <laughs> More penguins. More penguins. More penguins. All right, well, thank you very much for listening. That was chapter five. Um, not quite as far as I'd hoped we got to, but to be honest with you, that was kind of like, there's a lot of stuff going on there. Um, yeah, that was interesting. I can't believe I gave you fucking war penguins. Happy birthday, yeah. Pete. <laughs> well, it's hard to send things abroad, you know, so this is the best I can do. Um, I'll take it. I'll no, take it. In all, in all fairness, I'm just playing. Um, thank you very much to my players. Thank you very much, audience. Um, lovely to have you with us. Huge, massive, big, high fancy hug from me. And yay, thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Keep the fan coming. We love it. Yeah.
Um, we Hidden should... Heroin, you're awesome. Thank you for all the art. Yeah, yeah just thanks. Yes. And please do check out our account and do follow us, subscribe and like and all that kind of jazz. And if and follow our Instagram account for this particular session because then you can upload art directly yeah. there and it'll be we'll be able to see it as a collective. Um, yeah, much love to everybody. Thank you very much. See you next time. Bye. 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 Bye.